Why? Cup Why ain't nobody questioning the Kaze Kaze? Because you feel me? Like, you know they like they like the weakest village. Like, really? They, you feel like they Because they weakest? poor. If you think about it. They yeah. ain't got money like that. Oh, we're, I ain't know. And Kona had the strongest village. Like, yeah. And so when my Kaze Kaze was like, hey, bro. We about to run up on these niggas in the Chuni exam. <laughs> yeah, I know every other bill is there, and they could defend this shit. Like, yeah. there's so many things that go wrong. We about to go in there with not our whole force, mm-hmm. and we about to run up on all of Kona. <laughs> I would have been like, all right, but guys. I feel like it's not- <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm the, the you know the Debbie Downer here, but maybe we shouldn't do that because that's how fucking stupid. I feel like it's not a debate in the sand village. Like, <laughs> that's probably true. I feel like it's true. not a debate at all. That's probably true. Begun. All right, I'm started. Hold on, I need to start recording. Is that a rice toy or actual rice? Oh, you don't want to leave it there. I'm not sure about it. (laughs) Best part about having a dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm recording. All right. We good? Mm-hmm. All right, three, two, one. All right, welcome to the Afro Taku Podcast, episode. Is this eight, nine? Eight, nine, nine, eight, nine. Oh. I'm going with nine. <laughs> I was going with, it's officially nine now. <laughs> episode nine, the podcast where we talk about anime, manga, and everything else. I'm Mr. Good Guy, aka MGG, and I'm joined by my co host who introduced himself starting right uh, now. I'm player five. What's good is Jugga. All right, um, we're going to skip story time for today. Because um, niggas been boring. Yeah, that's true. A whole lot going on. Um, so instead, I guess we'll do a discussion topic or decent news or whatever. But basically, um, this thing has been trending about uh, nigga fishing, which is apparently white women are out here putting on uh, dark makeup. And basically trying to make themselves look black, whether it be through, like, braids or dark makeup, mm-hmm. uh, full lips, something like that. But right. uh, I just thought it was interesting. Want to get everybody's thoughts on it. Um, and, you know, maybe flame some of these motherfuckers. But. I feel like this is my first initial thought on it. If you out here doing this, you at least got to put some respect on Rachel Nozel. Because if it wasn't for her, <laughs> if it were for her Damn, would you true. even be able to do this? You know you what I'm saying? About that? Would wow. you know that it's possible to fool an entire black community? Wow. True. But, like, my whole thing is that... Would you date a girl that was nigga fishing? Like, do I know she nigga fishing? Or I like, mean, after you meet her, you for sure gonna know. Like, so okay, first so, date, she gonna come up. She, hey, what's up? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so I mean, I'm pretty fishing. sure they, they probably look on YouTube and do some voice shit. They probably... They could, they but I still just feel like it's pretty easy to tell. There's, like, there's certain words where it's like, all right, yeah, no. You said, mm-hmm. Just like there are niggas that are professionals that, like, acting out other people's... Um, Accents. Yeah, I feel like a top tier nigga Fisher could definitely. That's top tier, but let's oh, say we, we oh, get regular tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about the base. I'm not talking. Look, a top tier nigga <laughs> Fisher. You won't know till your baby come out <laughs> of that that shit was that she was mixed. Mm. <laughs> that Rachel Dolezal all was top tier. She had a whole baby. This so, the way. She's like, oh, I got away <laughs> with my family, and he still believes. He still works. <laughs> and then, she, then he met the parents and went. Oh, all right. So you white. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so like, if I got niggas, I feel like, sh- to her, I would probably be like, oh, okay, yeah, that's cool. I'm just going to keep smashing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to go nowhere past that. Uh-huh. You feel me? Oh, like, I'm not married. No. I'm not married no, to niggas. No. It's going to be no. a little wedding, bro. They're going to think no. you had a, a black all, girl. You can definitely fool your mom. Let's be real here. Uh-huh. My, my personal preferences lean more towards chocolate with natural hair. That's Why like she my throw back black. like a black girl? Tough. Everything like a black girl, but she not black. I mean, like, okay, so then then I would have to be like, I guess if... if Can't she say that word? It depends. It depends. 
I, at this point where she's this good at yeah. nigga fishing to the point where it's like, oh, you're just not black in jeans at that point. Mm-hmm. Like, so I would be like, why? What What made you want to do this? And if I can't think of a solid answer, but if she can give me like some solid reasoning to be like, yeah, you know, like this is just kind of why I won't, you know, it's just, I don't know. Transracial. Yeah, she gets some, some shit that made me start <laughs> rethinking. If I'm like, if I get to rethinking, then okay, cool. And then fuck it. She say nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, she got to get called a nigga first before she can say no. <laughs> uh, okay. So like, I'm gonna take her I'm out to, to be like, hold on. I'm gonna take her out to like the middle Wait of nowhere. Like, I know some racist places. Good Hope, Illinois. I'm gonna take her to Good Hope, Illinois, and we are gonna walk her around till she get called a nigga. Once she get called a nigga, all right, you say nigga. Are <laughs> you good? You in here? Yeah. Stand. Stand. <laughs> Stand. Wow. Give the pants. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what I do with a nigga face, honestly. I'll let you respond, Jenna, first, and then no, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much with Player Five, like just straight smash. I mean, to me, mm-hmm. for for her to do it in the first place, I feel like it kind of it's resulted to some, you know, deep problems possibly <laughs> for her to like need to actually go this far. Because I mean, if she just wanted, you know, effing Mandingo, I mean, mm-hmm. that's not hard. I mean, if you if, as far as like. As far as, like, just being fine, like, you know, just focusing yourself, and I feel like you, you could get it done after some time, you know what I mean? You wouldn't have to do all this. Yeah. So, for her to go this far, be like, mm, I mean, you fine, you know, we can hang out for a little bit, but she, she ain't that future goal, like, she ain't gonna be wifey. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think the right nigga fish could, could catch a ring for me. The right one. But, like, you don't go with the lie, though, bro? I don't know. It's, about it's less the about their looks and they race, and more about like. Yeah, their I have to. I have to understand how married they are to the nigga fishing. Was the nigga fishing just to get a nigga, or is the nigga fishing like a part of who you are? I mean, like almost you like, literally like you in denial about this. Like I'm your, shit. your chances of, of 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 getting a black dude is probably equal. It's probably Being higher, white. actually, as if you're white. True. If you're a light skinned girl, like, it depends on what you're looking for. But what I'm yeah. saying, like, if you. If you just want to fuck a black guy, your chances are higher if you're a white girl. Because almost all black guys are gonna like at least smash a white girl. Is yeah, it's, it's on the outside checklist. of their rank, so they want yeah. It on it's, their it's, it's, list. it's on the checklist for sure. So yeah. like, so like, this is the only way I could probably even find it acceptable. If it wasn't like no deep seated thing, if she wasn't sitting here like, no, no, I'm black. If she's like, no, I understand, I'm white. But this is the culture that resonates the most with me. Mm-hmm. And, like, I get that I can't ever really be there, but, like, I fuck with it super hard. Yeah. That's probably, like, but she have to word that shit real yeah, good. Yeah, and catch yeah. me on the right day. You feel me? Is anyone going to say that? No, like, I can't think of a good reason, but, like, if she hit me with one that's solid enough, yeah. I'll be like, all right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to hear that speech. Like, well, that I don't know the speech. How you bring them around I mean, your yeah. other friends though? With girls that are like legit black. Nobody else. Like nobody else would know that she she not black. Oh, so you I'm like, oh, she would need to be she like the top, on top. She going yeah. Bruce Wayne when y'all out. <laughs> yeah, she in costume. <laughs> yeah. Batman, Batman when y'all oh, at home. Yeah. Bruce Wayne outside. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm like, look, look, if this is the life you hey, don't choose, yeah, you this can't be no fad. Yeah. You in this for life. <laughs> like, you, you, you no longer nigga bitching, bro. You a nigga. Like, hey. that's it. You in here. Because what if they catch her? What if they catch Because now, now it's going to be like, you know, the uh, Cinderella movie, right? Where the shit, where the shit at 12 o'clock shit started uh-huh. changing. <laughs> Don't you know this that one meme? Tripping. Don't you know that one meme where he's like, <laughs> I can see that one. This is real. Like, you got me the they whole time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We definitely, we definitely gonna Ooh. find the best makeup, like that non sweat shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you gotta wow. take that shit off with alcohol, like a deep scrub. You feel me? Damn. Like, I'd be like, bro, bro, we in it. we're in it together now. Like we gotta make this happen. We gonna get you a fake black uncle. Like <laughs> we, black we gotta. <laughs> We wow, gotta be in the whole backstory. We talking yeah. like I'm like really into this girl to the point where I'm like, I love you past this. Uh-huh. But I'm also not a goofy, so I can't go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like now I have to be invested in the lot. Yeah. 
And I'm not getting caught up by none of my friends are gonna catch me. I kind of want a nigga fish reveal. I kind of, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to interact with one like in the club where this girl black, he just dance, you know, he dance with a nigga or mm-hmm. whatever, and then just mid club and just sweating too much and like something happened. He just, that just exposed the, the fact that she won. No, me. Like what? Because <laughs> <Yeah, like, laughs> <what? laughs> I feel like that that might happen with like trans people sometimes too, or they might be in a club mm-hmm. or whatever, and then something happens that reveals like, oh, you know, I'm not what you thought I was. And that's a different, probably more violent reaction. But mm-hmm. like a nigga fish, is it gonna be as like as wild, or you just gonna be like, oh, okay, whatever, yeah, just I keep like, keep moving. On a side note, if you dance with a transgender woman, mm-hmm. and then you find out that she was not originally a woman, and you get mad and jar up, you gay, bro. <laughs> you you like it in the booty, bro? Because like, you know, if you ever even watch Maury, you have to realize like, oh snap, some of these transgender women fine. Cause it'd be like, no, it'd be like, oh, pick the game, one. The game is like, oh, no, they yeah, too, the game they too changed. Cold. You're it's like, after. you can't be mad. You thought she was cold, and you danced, and you found out otherwise. That's all you, bro. Just walk off and go. Oh, this yeah. not for me. If you hit her, you low key. You, come on. Bro. Well, I would say it would be stupid to hit her anyways, because it's not like it's it's in public. I mean, it's in public, but it's not like. Everyone else on the dance floor knows what you just discovered. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I'm saying. And then when you jar, then you, now everyone discovers. That's what I'm saying. You take it too personal, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. So yeah. But if I'm everyone like, on the dance floor shit. knew, and they just let that happen, well, I feel a little bit like, all right, come on, y'all ain't hey, let me know. Sometimes that could be the case, bro. You feel me? Because, like, you know, you dancing, you're not even facing her. Yeah. Depending on how fucked up you are, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't even notice, but your niggas notice. Yeah. So they like. See, that's, I that say is, my that's only possible to happen at a black party. I would say white parties nigga. don't behave like that. You True. know, no, mixed mix race parties do. Oh, really? Where you can you yeah. can ride up behind them? Because yeah, I know yeah. black parties for sure. You that's that's open. You yeah. could have been danced with a gay nigga for all you know sometimes mm-hmm. if you just slide up behind the booty. But yeah, um, yeah white parties not because you gotta see them face to face. You gotta talk face to face for in a my experience, second. If it's an all white party, then that's gonna happen. But like in mixed race parties. The white people there, they know what's going on. They get in the cracks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So and we would stop your guy though if he was finna de- uh, dance. Or you see what I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna let him go ahead and knock the first the whole dance out. You that. That's the L you took, bro. And then after that, I'm gonna come up and be like, hey, oh, hey, how you this, doing? Yeah, hey, you know, this man was sending his quick? mom to jail, bro. Why am I expecting you to leave from here? No, you're right. 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 You chose to dance with her. Maybe that's what you want. Should I ruin your first day? I should double check with him. It's three minutes, bro. You wouldn't double check with him. I mean, if you wouldn't be like, hey, bro. Like you know that if we are, what if we see the entire process happen? Here's the thing, like I'm okay. See, I didn't imagine that. What I'm imagining is we had a packed club. Okay, I'm already doing my thing. Okay, and then I look up and I see my my nigga clearly dancing with a transgender girl. I'll be like, damn. All right, after this song, I'm gonna intervene because maybe you knew what you was on, and who am I to be in your business like that? You feel me? I guess. Like, so, like, if you wanted to dance with a transgender, I'm not going to judge you. You do you. Hmm. So, I'm, I'm going to judge you. I get dance with a transgender. Right. But I'm saying the fact that That's they might I'm, be ignorant to the fact. I'm going to let you get your dance in case it wasn't. I don't want to interrupt your shit. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to come home and be like, hey, bro, do you know what you're getting into? Are you aware, bro? Have you been drinking? Have you been drinking? And if you're like, no, I'm good. All right, bro. I just wanted to confirm. Yeah, bro. I was just wanting to make sure. Yeah, well, I could love uh, see that, though. Let you get your one, then after that, and, and then who am I over here be stopping her dance like that? You know, she's getting hers in. I guess there's a valid point there. Hey, Allie. Hey. Uh, hey. Name drop, but y'all can't see her. So it don't matter. <laughs> this could be Allie Berry, y'all, you know. <laughs> it is Allie Berry. Oh, Allie Berry, oh, please go to our house. I don't, I don't know how to feel about that, bro. You know, yeah. you don't compare how they, they, uh, they um, they'll never know. So nigga fishing is a real thing. Apparently. Nigga fishing is a real thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, you you gotta relax. Be when people leave. Come here. You sad or something? She really like did. I mean, player six? Controller six? <laughs> <laughs> Controller six? <laughs> um, I kinda like that. But yeah, what's, what, what else? Was there anything um, major I want to ask about um, nigga fishing? I don't no. I feel like that's it. Do you think... It's possible. Do you think it would be possible for you to reverse nigga fish? Like if somebody reverse. hit the makeup and everything, and they do, well, do, do, do like they just I don't want you to go there one day. Own people, I feel like no. Just there's a lot you got to do. There's a lot you got to do to be to white 
fish to cracker fish. That's what we call cracker fish. To cra- I'm not nigger fishing. That's that's me. Yeah, that's we that's use nigger fishing to describe because I'm a nigger. I can say that. All right, my bad. To <laughs> to fish to capture someone <laughs> as a white white person. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. For, okay, for one day, if they like go to the club Mayonnaise as a white fish. man, can we call it mayo fish? Ma- mayo mayonnaise fish. fish. <laughs> we call it tuna fish. Tuna fish. Because wow. that's mayonnaise and fish. All right, tuna, tuna fish. fish. All right, to tuna fish. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot more that goes in on the back end. You know what I mean? To prove that because the advantages I'm trying to gain from mm-hmm. from tuna fishing requires paperwork. You know what I mean? So I gotta get names changed. I gotta get like birth certificates changed. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to get credit advantages. I'm trying to get like loan advantages. That's why I'm tuna fishing. Let me put it that way. Like I'm not tuna fishing to get no white one. Okay, so how I'm tuna fishing to do that. Like to nigga fish, they nigga fishing for whatever other reason, but they're not trying to get no advantages that require paperwork. Think about it. What advantages they get that require paperwork? True. So, from nigga fish. <laughs> so I'm about, about, about this. If it's they paperwork. was like, hey, we'll give you hundred thousand dollars. You tuna fish and you gotta you gotta get a white girl uh-huh. to go home with you. You ain't gotta do nothing crazy, you know. Yeah. You gotta get a white girl to go home with you and say something racist. You got one week to do so while tuna fishing. Oh, I could definitely. Can do you it. do it? Oh, it's fine. <laughs> you like hundred percent. Because I'm still, I'm still black at the end of the day. So I felt like my blackness. They all secretly want the blackness. They just don't want the black skin. Mm, true. So like me being white now helps me because now I can use my blackness to get in, and then the racist part easy. That's gonna that, be automatic. That just happens on the red. Yeah. yeah. That happens on the red. <laughs> <laughs> it's always on the white. Like it's gonna come out. See now it's what. Gonna come out. what I've I mean, oh, don't you feel a little bit uncomfortable about the black people that just walk past us? Yeah, totally, bro. <laughs> Got it. Got We're about to find a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've been on this show. I'm going to be like, you've been on this show. I'm going to pull my wig off. <laughs> You just got tuna. Yeah, man. right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pulling Ooh, my wig off automatically. Like, what? now this is what I will say from my experience with dealing with uh, white women. Yeah, I found the reverse to be true. In that, what like, so they will want you for your your skin, like uh-huh. you being a black nigga, whatever. Fact, or okay, I'm not gonna say that this is like every white woman or woman. This is like the ones that fetishize black men. And so, like, they'll want you for your skin color, your height, whatever it may be, thinking you, you may think go in the streets or really you're just a regular hanging, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, but then they won't want your, your blackness, right? So, like, any, like, hood shit that come out or saying nigga or, yeah. like, not saying some words properly, that's not the shit they want. So, I feel like, like, they will want a super suburban black, black dude. Guy. And that would be like, oh, perfect. But as soon as you start to do any of that, like, quote unquote black shit, now it's like, oh, no, no, you're doing too much. Say, basically, you want Childish Gambino type yes. thing. Yes. No, not Childish not Gambino. That Childish Gambino. Donald Glover, really, bro. Yeah, there you're right. Donald Glover type thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, you just, you. This is like that or thing, Luke Cage, where Chance? Luke Cage. I feel like why we're having the panties for Chance True. for the love. But I don't think they were understand that that nigga, like, he a hood nigga. They just don't know. Chance? Yeah, that nigga from Channel. For real? Yeah. Chance from Chan? No, I hate to use some Yeah. Chan. Ain't his dad like a mayor or something? What that mean? I know niggas with money and still hood. Oh, okay. My bad. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Chance. I don't want this smoke, bro. Don't pull up. I know the Chan is niggas don't play, man. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All that shucking and driving he doing, bro. Go pull out of that. <laughs> 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 yeah, nah, white women don't have a chance. Hell yeah. Chance be changing the game. I, I am. I mean, we got some I, good I mean, I'm a little salty there. how like niggas was like, oh shit, this nigga Chance Ooh, I, gave like a million dollars. Whoa, shit! I was just like, okay, what a million dollars doing in Chicago? Though? Like, good things, my yeah. nigga. Yeah. Like, I wasn't like on his dick like everybody else was for a million dollars. Oh like, man, G Herbo. What? <laughs> that nigga don't get money back. Dude? Yeah, he do. He's trying to start some um some uh, after school program or something like that. Damn. I mean, I, w- I would like to get your perspective. That, nigga even finish, that might be another podcast to like to talk about how you feel about um, people who like try to get back uh, through education 
and like the ways they do like some people suggest like after school programs mm -hmm. some people give back to schools like what do you feel like is actually the most effective because you're actually in there True. so it's like you might actually see like if someone says they're giving a million dollars well this is actually what's going to happen to the million dollars so, like, and this is why it feels like nothing changes after somebody gives a million dollars when they come to like buying facilities yeah that <laughs> that don't be real shit like like okay so like here's it's like okay the kids there's like here are the kids that will benefit from from getting all these facilities and books and stuff mm -hmm. then there's like here are the fence kids that maybe they get help from that maybe they don't and then it's like here's the kids that we're actually trying to help right because when you look at all these numbers like oh shit these numbers are in the shitter and all this stuff like yeah. you're talking about these kids these kids down here mm -hmm. but all the shit you do only helps the kids that's already thriving right like oh yeah we just built a million dollar library none of them other niggas gonna use that but the niggas that's already thriving are going to use it yeah so like yeah it's good in a way because sure you still helping some the kids are at, at need that are limited thriving. opportunities but all the numbers that you use to validate why you help come from these kids mm -hmm. and so like what's gonna help them uh i think one money so like like they do this in the suburbs where you get like money incentives for like <clears throat> doing well in school like that would be nice mm -hmm. right so there's as not as many kids will have to drug deal every day in school which happens every single day in the city of chicago at every single public school you know maybe if they were like incentivized oh if i just do good in school i'll, I'll get this money i would have got dealing drugs anyway mm -hmm. or like uh we got some programs like bam like becoming a man yeah. which is like sort of kind of helpful they target these kids back here mm -hmm. and then so like They'll take them out of class and do whatever the fuck they do. Like, oh, what what they do, what they do I'm not going to sit here and call it like super successful. Mm. I'm not going to call it unsuccessful. All I know is at least they targeting the right fucking kids. Well, yeah. They not just like. So they just take them out? Huh? They just take them out in the middle of the class yeah. sometimes? They're, they're like, I'll have kids and it's like always like the, the, the bottom barrel of mm. them. And then they'll just call it a pass. Like, oh, yeah, I got to go do BAM. And then they do BAM stuff. They get, like, BAM t-shirts. And it's, like, it's an extra person that, like, you can kind of be like, oh, you know, like, hey, this kid's being a problem. You think you can talk to him? Because, you know, they got this relationship with him. Like, oh, okay. Maybe it works for some kids. Like, I say that pushes more kids towards the fence. And okay. when kids get to the fence, that's when we can, you like, can flip chill. them over. Like, oh. when you watch TV and you're like, oh, man, that teacher, like, flipped this kid over. It's like, those kids that are getting flipped over are oh, mainly fence. fence kids. Okay. Mm. They already have the ability to get flipped, flipped over into the good side. And then you may get, like, one or two, like, deep end kids. So mm -hmm. that one, I think the BAM and shit like that that specifically targets those kids are good for pushing kids towards the fence so they can get flipped. Mm -hmm. But, like, just throwing money at it, it's the same thing. Like you throw money at any problem, it's not going to fix the people that are uneducated on why they are in a situation. Yeah. They just gonna like, oh yeah, we got new books. We're gonna read that bitch no way, you know. So like, mm. that's useless. But yeah, I don't Man. know if you're looking for that much detail. No, I was. I actually go. was. But I think that's that's interesting. Because hmm. I mean, I think there's stuff I think about too. Is like if I ever get to that stage, well, when I get to that stage, I'll put it that way. You got to put it in the mm -hmm. in the air for yourself. But no, the money is sitting I, for grades. No, actually, that, that sounds pretty legit. I can see that doing yeah. work. Yeah, huh. that'd be great. Like, um, but then again, then you get into this issue. I've seen it so much, like where kids get mad. Like, so let's say I'm this straight A student, and it's like, damn, bro. So what I get for my straight A's? I get a plaque that say you did good, but this motherfucker get a hundred dollars from going from an F to a D. Yeah. The fuck, you know what I'm saying? And so that would piss kids D off. D incentivizes mm -hmm. yeah. the kids that are already doing well. Yeah, and it's just like, I mean, you're never gonna make anybody happy, and I realize that because like we got like these different cohorts and kids. Like we got these super smart kids, we got the regular kids, and then we got like these like super artsy kids, mm -hmm. and everybody think everybody else is getting it like better. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's just like, well, it's better in different ways. Like, until people stop being petty, I just say, fuck it. Like, kids don't sh always 100% know what they want. So sometimes you just got to, I, I like, would say it's push more lower like, than that. Like, they're, they're not even not always. I would say most of the times kids don't know what they mm -hmm. want. Well, I mean, that's why the I'm, kids. Yeah. I feel like that's part mm -hmm. of the reason why I don't, like, buy this, like, not disciplining your kid shit that some mm -hmm. people talk about. I'm like, um, I've tried. Like, I tutor on the side. And I, like... 
I you think like oh yeah I can have like an adult conversation with a kid, Mm-mm. but you can't. Like, and I don't know what you think like by telling the kid like oh hey don't do that anymore it bothers me that they're gonna like automatically get it. Like yeah, in some cases they will, but I also think in some cases there's just some kids that's just fucking bad. Like they're just bad and they need to just be reminded by fear a little bit to like all right you just gotta stay you gotta yeah, correct okay. yourself. Like my yeah. ultimate uh, analogy to that. It's just like, hey, some kids you can tell don't touch the hot stove. Some kids got to touch the hot stove and find out it's hot, right. you know? Like, it, it's crazy how I'll hear people be like, oh, yeah, I'm a kinetic learner. I really got to feel stuff with my hands, but no, nah, I don't hit kids. I'm like, yeah. some maybe he a kinetic yeah, learner. You know and he to feel this ass no, for one of them. And I got that problem, too. Like, I'm a super curious person. Like, even when somebody tells me not to do it, I get a strong urge to still want to do it. Right. Like, like you tell me not to do it will make me want to do it more. And I, there's a lot of kids out there like that. And to me, I just know being a kid that was whooped, I'm sure maybe there is some trauma there, but at the same time, I think that I understood how I was able to stay straight in line on certain things because I know, shit, if I ain't bring the right grades home, I'm getting my ass whooped. And at the same time, that's a, there, there's a little bit of pressure there, mm-hmm. right? A little bit of anxiety. But then you're having those experiences earlier, which low-key prepare you for real life. True. When niggas, when you start really facing real anxiety out here, like, oh, mm-hmm. shit, I got a bill to pay, and I ain't got no money to pay it. Like, if that's your first time experiencing anxiety for some shit, well, nigga, you gonna fuck it up, man. I know what that anxiety felt like, knowing that you finna bring that D home and catch yeah. your hands, man. Hey, <laughs> like, I'm telling you, <laughs> college will start to break some kids yeah. mentally. I was trying to tell them ready one to kid, be told that you're not good. This is one kid that really has not been in that situation <laughs> yeah. where people had to tell him, like, hey, you're not good enough yet, at least. Was just like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna go to college and I think I'm gonna uh, major in engineering. And I was like, oh, it's a lot of physics in there. He's yeah. like, oh, yeah, I'm doing good in this class. I was like, well, you got a, <laughs> you, 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 you got a solid C in a regular, yeah. arguably not that challenging physics class. I'm like, just in the city of Chicago alone, I could take you to, um, what's that, the, like the best school in Chicago, Northside Prep. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm pretty sure they physics class mm-hmm. is going to be drastically yeah, different I mean, than Walter this Walter Payne is number one right now, just, just to set the record. Oh, Three, we can fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey shout, shout out to King, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never been at the top of the, you know, selective well, enrollment, but nah, you know, okay. we be out here. Uh, I don't even need to defend it. Man. I mean, we got the stats. I mean, that's, that's I can't it. Even, so, so Walter Payne. You don't in the conversation. No. We probably like below. The lowest one. Hey, but you know what? Kill me, bro. Is when Top, I go back. Uh, thousand and two, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> when I go back to Creek, and then like Creek niggas be trying to flame Chicago education, and I'll be like, bro, it's getting worse for y'all. You went to Creek, yeah, like, Creek, what are you talking about? I'm like, there are like fifty schools in Chicago that have shit on Creek in education. Yeah. But niggas, they just think. And at least you have the choice to go to them damn schools. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. the Creek people is like, you can go to Mary Catholic. That's Which is it, not a bad there. school. Yeah, that one's up there, but it's like those are only the people whose parents are wise enough to know like this Cree shit ain't really they working. Ain't Everybody living. else just get funneled into Cree and they think like it's like literally it's a school that everyone gets into. You don't have to try and you pass. Mm-hmm. Like I, I pass Cree without trying. So like, <laughs> what? Yeah. And niggas are still failing that motherfucker. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, that, and that'd be the thing that I try and like stress to people. But then other people feel like that's like bringing a kid down. And I'm like, I get it. It may bring a kid down a few notches, but isn't that life? Don't you got to be brought down a few notches? Like, sometimes you need to be told, like, hey, bro, you're not that smart. You're not. You need to work harder. People don't want to be realistic. People feel like you can somehow grow by positivity only, which isn't true. You need some, like, negative experiences in order to facilitate growth. People, I felt like, learned, at least in my life, I felt like I've learned the most from failures that I have from wins. Wins feel really good, but I've learned the most about myself from the times when I failed. failed. But True. some people feel like, oh, a kid can never fail. Mm-hmm. They can never taste that failure because they taste that failure. And it's it's really fucking them up because they don't taste failure too later in life where failure means a lot more. And when it means a lot more, they are not up to the challenge. Like, they don't understand. It. Like, And I think that's like, I forgot what YouTuber I was listening to, but it's like people our age group or whatever. When we get into like the working world, we tend to get frustrated and unhappy because we've been told our whole lives, like, we're supposed to be valuable. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? We're supposed to be valuable. But what no one ever tells you is like, to really be valuable, you need a bunch of experience. And once you get to that job, you go in there day one, you think, oh shit, I'm ready to be the CEO. 
and you find out like Mecca. nigga you like in the, in the bedroom <laughs> right you're doing some real basic shit and you're just like man I don't feel like I'm doing anything here but it's like nigga it's because you need all this experience to get there and then people go oh well I fucking hate my job and I need to go do this thing on the side or whatever and it's like Grass and all these that's things. not always what you really want to do like True. and then you find out when it's fucking hard like <laughs> you go do it and you're like oh shit I actually can't do this like I'm not I don't know man I feel like people are starting to like we get into this this weird ideology that this world is like a utopia and we want to make it a utopia but it's like mm. it, it doesn't work that way like mm. people need to to taste blood a little bit to be able to get better yeah. yeah it's not just we're not yet at the point maybe one day we'll get to the point where you can just be better through positivity or whatever but I don't think we're yet at the point where we don't we can't face hardship to grow Makes mm-hmm. no sense. No, I don't. Know, I, don't you know, I, mean, I don't know if there's anybody who's successful off pure positivity. They've had no <laughs> failures in their life. Have just been told they were good the whole time. If and they they have, went to massive. If they things. have, that's a person with an insane safety net yeah. and already True. a head start. So it's like, True. okay, you were born on third base, making your way to home. Right. I was born in a parking lot. Right. I, I had to <laughs> fucking box a little bit to even get in the stadium. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so, like okay, ooh, so impressive. Yeah. That, that's why I think I'm like, bro, if 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 you if you white <laughs> and you make less money than me, bro, you weak. That's how I feel. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 I get it. it, it, it and I, I've had this conversation Ooh. with people, and I don't want to sit here and um and like belittle somebody's struggle. Like if you had your struggle, you've had it, right? Yeah. Everybody struggles, but sometimes I don't think you realize that your struggle might not be the same as some other people's struggle. True. And I'm just like, hey, if I caught up to you, you weak, bro. Like you got you got grind harder than that. I'm telling you. Ray was yeah off the political. Um. Anybody got any decent news? Ooh, other than what happened last week? Hmm? Decent news. I mean, well, we all voted. Yeah. I thought about not doing it. Yeah. (laughs) I I actually had a conversation with somebody about that. I was just kind of like, dude, I'm so ill informed about the people to vote for that I'm like, this is almost counterproductive. I feel like I'm hurting it, yeah. I'm like, so this is real. And then also, like, how much is it going to change for my community? Right. And people say, oh, well, power to vote, that'll change the black community. Bro, Obama was president and shit still ain't happening. Fuck it That's at true. this point. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, we're not coming up. <laughs> they is. Hey. <laughs> Good job, Bam Bam. I appreciate uh, you for it. Well, I, yeah, well, I, I say I was debating the two. One, because, like, our the the governor race, mm-hmm. like, I didn't feel pretty confident about either of the candidates. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> even the one on the, like, the other side, like, on the more Democratic side, I wasn't, like, not a big fan. I felt like it was kind of like the Donald Trump-Hillary then thing, where, like, one. I really want Hillary. I also didn't really want Donald Trump, but, like, I, okay. like, just going to vote for Hillary because I think this is, like, the lesser of two evils kind yeah, of thing. Exactly. And then after I did that on the ballot, I just felt like everything else on the ballot was, was like, regular. did I see you on a commercial? <laughs> Are you black? Are you a Democrat? It was like one of those three things. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, all right, it's got to get better. I, I just don't. I get the point of voting. I get the importance of voting. And I understand why we need to vote. But I also think that, like, now that we're starting to pay more attention, there's got to be, like, a push. I know we're, we're lazy motherfuckers, but the world has got to adjust to the fact that, like, it's very hard for people to, like, do their research if the information isn't instant. You know, be and dope. it's like all these commercials were. Uh, oh my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, it's gonna okay. be a long time. So go. <laughs> oh yeah, I was just like, it, you know, it'd be dope. Let's just think about that. It's like they had like an electronic version. Like before you vote for that nigga, yeah. you could get like three these bullet points. points. What this nigga about? Yeah. Oh okay, I fuck with that. I was honestly thinking of building an app. Like I don't know when Donald Trump won. Actually, like that would just do that. That would just tell you like, hey. Here's all the people running in your area. Here's like their stances on like the big issues. The logistics. Like, that'd be, here's this, this, this. Yeah. Issues. Here's this, this, and this. And then that way you would be able to just go Copy and go like, it. hey, this is what this nigga does. This is what this nigga does. This is where I stand. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And maybe you, it would be links to speeches Spirits, or whatever. Movie. But honestly, like, yeah, I see these dogs on there. When we, <laughs> I don't know why they didn't touch my booty. But anyway, so like, I feel like, um, 
Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. Sorry. Um. Shit, what was I at? What was I just talking about? Uh, you were talking about getting the info. App. Yeah, yeah. getting the info. Yeah, but I felt like having this information at the at a glance would be better for our ability to to vote on them. Basically, like once you go in there, now I actually know who I stand for. And sometimes, like the Republican might stand for an issue I more believe in than the Democrat. Yeah. But like, I'm just gonna default to Democrats because right now in my mind, I'm like all Republicans are racist. So I'm just like, <laughs> oh, okay, I mean, who it is? Which ain't always the truth. Um. So yeah. So. I don't know. I think we need something like that, but I think the this whole thing. I feel like there's a change in like the political landscape in terms of like they aren't aren't yet ready to cater to the new generation of voters that are coming. Yeah. Like before, there's all these old voters who just say, "Yeah, I go exercise my right to vote." Same thing with airlines. Like everybody flew the same airlines for a while. Mm-hmm. Now it got to a point where like. Why the fuck am I flying Southwest all the time? Like, I just want the cheapest shit. Mm. Like, does it? The spirit came along. So it's like, <laughs> I'm like, I think it's the same thing with voting. It's like now we're getting a rush of people our age who finally have the right to vote and are more like politically aware or at least yeah. care about people doing good. Mm. Like, we will we will damn somebody that's not doing good. Do you know what I mean? If we hear something bad about them, we're going to come at them and we yeah. will flex that power. So now they have to start accommodating to that meaning. Like, you got to start doing more. Because I feel like all the commercials I saw on TV were just like like Kwame Raul, for example. All his commercials, I don't know what that nigga stands for. I just know I I'm supporting him and he black. Yeah. And that was like all I needed technically to vote, but that really shouldn't be all I need to vote. You know what I mean? And then like some of the other ones, all of the other commercials were like, this is where this is what all this nigga is against. I didn't hear anything the person who supported the thing stood for. I just heard, oh, uh, oh, you know that this person supported this. Do you know that this person's a fan of Trump? Do you know that this person did this? And it's like, okay, I heard what they did wrong, right? Mm-hmm. I got that. Maybe I won't vote for them, but why should I vote for you, right? Mm-hmm. Did, you didn't say anything that tells me what you're actually gonna do. Yeah, like. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just I I hated that. I like had to listen to all these fucking things that I still have regular TV. Not so like night before the election, it was like literally we were not watching the news and there was like a thirty minute commercial, but like not thirty minute, but there was like a five minute commercial and back to back was like everyone's ads, mm. like until the news came back. I'm like, damn, how y'all able to get this <laughs> whole slot of just like this what? worst in this worst in ads and like that's all the fucking ads was was like don't for, vote for this person because this this and this sponsored by the person that I I like me I want you to vote for me right. you know? and you know something that's really crazy or I'm though black. does it <laughs> money is like niggas, niggas can really just become something with money I'll be real with you I don't know shit about that nigga yeah. JB Pritchard that nigga billionaire but he got bread they bro they he's a billionaire yeah, I was like why do we talk after he went to say he's a billionaire because I feel like I didn't hear this nigga was a billionaire that's what I'm saying after exactly. he won yeah. I didn't know nothing about him and his money dollars. what are you doing in Chicago with a billion dollars like? his yeah, money got him there yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just like damn bro like we had billionaires in Chicago like that still like that bothered me just like that nigga that I was telling you last week that made the 400 half a mil mm-hmm. this nigga superintendent make it half a million dollars I was like I didn't even know my salary cap could achieve that much you know within think? the city limits of Chicago bro real talk oh, oh think about it this I way. didn't know you could get that high there off regular are coaches, jobs there are coaches that's making bread college coaches uh-huh. like I guarantee you the, the head coach for Northwestern a, a city school yeah. that nigga making in the millions his contract in the millions what guarantee you the the highest uh, contract for like a, a, a college coach at one point was like eleven million, the and fuck? that dude he was a coach at University of Connecticut. What? You know what I'm saying? So you know Northwestern that yeah. niggas making bread, bro. Like what? It's niggas out here doing regular jobs. That's, crazy. That's what I'm seeing. But, I'm just like, dang, I really don't know my city as much as I thought I did. You know what I mean? There's what? niggas out here million no. millionaires. You feel me? For like, sure. Where are you living at? South downtown. Really? Yeah, they, <laughs> they got million dollar condos. I, mean, but, uh, I guess yeah, all them niggas are soaking them bitches. But I mean, like, there's some who want a house. Like, you know what I mean? If I'm, I'm a millionaire, billionaire. Like, I want a house. Like, Loki, I ain't to them, though. I mean, things. close to Chicago, right. everything got mansions all the time. Hey, these niggas out in North Chicago with bread, bro. It's two true. types of niggas in Chicago. You got bread or you broke. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I guess I was on the broke side because I just always felt like to get bread. 
Like, I mean, yeah, I guess my CEO probably makes a lot of money. Like, you know what I mean? He probably well in the millions. But, like, for some reason, I just felt like you had to get it outside and bring it into the city. You know what I mean? I felt like you could get it from the in city. The city yeah. I felt like you had to, like, be like, I made a million over here. Now I'm moving back to Chicago <laughs> to relax. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But there's people who literally made, a mil- like, millions yeah. in the city. It makes me feel like I'm not tapping you on know, the resources. Ever just shake a millionaire's hand and be like, bro, you you touch more money than I'll ever touch, bro. <laughs> like, oh, 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 oh. Stop, bro. You can touch a million. No, no, no. I'm talking about, like, lifetime. This nigga, like, if the nigga regularly sees yeah, a million, like, it's not like, oh, I, I, I'm I, worth a million, one million, yeah, like, yeah. no, I regularly push yeah. millions <laughs> around, bro, that's you know, like, that's, like, that's Man, like, it's crazy, like, Jeff Bezos, like, this nigga's close to a trillion now, I yeah. think. and I'm just like, this man, like, what is a day like for him, you feel me, like, I mean, I get it, you go, but I mean, like, the person who, who gets to see that nigga on, a, on the red, you can't, your net worth can't be less than a certain amount. I feel like, you know what I mean? Just the way your circle's built once you're mm-hmm. a billionaire. Like, the people he spends more than 20% of his time with on a daily basis. Yeah, so how does that nigga work, bro? Like, how are you not just pass? Like, what do you do with that money? I literally have well, billions of dollars. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. I can't tell you. That was tough. I'll be here one day, though. I was talking about, <laughs> about this time I was at this uh, like conference this like overnight like teaching conference mm-hmm. and like so the thing cost like it would be like $500 to go there for what a, a night and a day to just to stay at this conference but like yeah. you know through teaching shit we don't pay like 50 mm-hmm. but like those are regular prices for these and people come from all over the world to stay at this conference center and do like workshops. Mm-hmm. And so like one day we was at this conference and we just chilling after all the shit. Like we drinking and, and smoking and chilling as as teachers. And then this random old white nigga come up and he just like, oh yeah, can I join y'all? And I'm like, all right, yeah, old white niggas, whatever. <laughs> this nigga like smoking, he wild as hell, he drinking, he going hard. And I'm like, hey bro, chill out, you know, like, I don't even know if we supposed to be drinking here. If they come here, bro, we gonna get in trouble. He's like, oh no, don't worry about. It. I own all this. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm oh like, my god! He's like, no, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no. I, this, this, me. I, I own all this. He like the the head nigga. And at first, I thought he was just on some goofy shit. <laughs> and then, like the next day, they introduce him as like the head nigga. And every time I go there, I'm just like, you, bro, you got <laughs> bread, <laughs> bread, bro. Like, I'm like, I'm like, I wish I could know what that's like to be like, bro. I got all the power here. Ain't nobody gonna tell me shit. You know what I'm saying? But I thought he cool as hell. He funny as hell. That shit is crazy. All right, man. I guess off that. We were on to some anime type shit. (laughs) Yeah. Let's move on to these major highlights. Uh, Cut me a check, somebody. I'm telling you, yeah. All the little (laughs) candidates, JB. <laughs> Cut the check. Bro, I feel like I, would, I could go online and say some goofy shit and be like, hey, if every millionaire just gave me a thousand dollars, I'd be decent. And I feel like it could get some traction in this day and age. That's you could literally get a what? bunch of millionaires to throw you a thousand dollars and be a million. Just like that. Ooh. Wow. They, oh, they gifted it to you, so it's tax free, yeah. bro. Don't tax. Bro, yeah, did you, oh, fuck. I forgot her name. God, but it was dang. some chick who um like tricked Trump supporters. The support uh, oh, yeah, her college sure. It's like a black girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that was crazy. That's funny. Yeah. This chick literally said, man, my parents threw me out for supporting Trump. I think he's doing great. Can y'all just help me out since I'm on the streets of my college fund? Yeah. This be chick su- got like can she be sued million. for that? Like, what? I wonder if she could be sued for that. I don't know. I mean, like, in the, no, yeah, in the end, though, in like, the end, uh, she, like, revealed it was all a joke and still returned the money. Oh, the she point is that she like, still damn, got it. I would return the Return, bro? She I would have put on some... my Make America Great hat, bro. I would have gone go. for real, fam. <laughs> they um, would never. I'd have actually became a Trump supporter. One. <laughs> you have to that one. I'm like, bro, like, this nigga got me a million. I mean, you for, what, two more years now? Being a Democrat ain't got me shit. I fuck with my nigga Trump, bro. I do that. I'd be uh, Candace Owens for sure, the, uh, the male version. And hey, walking around mm-hmm. Chicago to make America great, it, ha- it might get you beat up, though. It would. What? It, it would. would. It's the wrong out. part. Wrong oh, part. Without, the wrong part. Without a doubt. Downtown, nothing going to happen to you. Uh, wrong city? Uh, See, that's the thing. I don't think on the south side, I think niggas just like, oh, you a goofy. <laughs> niggas don't give a fuck about policies like that. Up north and downtown, 
these niggas really be caring about this shit. A motherfucker might cut you, bro, on some like, oh, so you don't believe in women's rights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, one of the protesters right outside of my work like two days ago, they inflated a big ass baby Trump. <laughs> <laughs> right there where the post office is, bro. bro. Oh my god, I was dying. I know we try to get out this political shit. It's, just a, it's, it's a political like it's season, hot. This it's city hot. is so liberal and aggressively yeah. liberal, bro. You can't say nothing before a nigga like, oh, so your ass racist, ain't you? You, you support Trump? <laughs> oh. I'm like, I oh. told you. That's how I know Amaya winning or whatever. You know the the black mayoral candidate mm-hmm. that uh, Chance endorsed. Yeah, I'm like her ass winning, bro. We saw what happened to uh, Van Dyke, nigga. Like. We black people out here. like yeah. like the liberals out here. We fuck with um we fuck with uh the Democrats, motherfucker. Like she went yeah, hard, bro. straight up. I'm like that chance doing that just shut the whole city down. Like they, I would just stop running. If I was a Republican, mm-hmm. then I'd be like, I'm out that race. As soon as chance said, like, hey, I I pick her. <laughs> oh. It's yeah, this is like that's why Rob Mangle left because I'm, I'm sure that's why he left. Like Chance probably like, hey, bro, you know, I can't, you know I'm not endorsing your ass. <laughs> he probably reached out. He probably still reached out. Like hit him up. Like Quit Chance, me. I know some shit. I had some bad optics this year, but I'm gonna try and work on it next the next term mm. or whatever. Chance was like, nah, I'm good. Fam. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. And I then he was like, Rob Mangle only like three times. He did. Yeah. I shook his hand once. I'll tell you. That's oh, I didn't mean I didn't share that story. We got hella liberal kids at my school, mm-hmm. and they be like, "Yeah, if I see Brahma Manuel, I'm gonna spit at his feet." I was like, "You ain't that." <laughs> Cause I'm like, everybody say all they do. I'm like, "I'll be real with you. If you was in front of Donald Trump right now, you would shake that man." Yeah, head. I wouldn't care. Cause I'm like, but I was never standing on that though. You know? What no, I mean? I'm not saying you. Yeah. Know, it's niggas out here that, that they they, they stay that time. Yeah. I'm like, bro, when you get in front of all them cameras, oh, you can like, see. No, but hey, the, see, the, world, the world changed yeah, now absolutely. because now with the cameras, everybody trying to be a star, so they doing it. True. So they would. Would still, some people would uh, still stand oh, on it so for, the, like, for the celebrity because they know true. they're gonna be. I'm like, but you know, you get book book right. Like, yeah, you oh. spend you spend on Trump like some niggas are, that's some assault, niggas are right? so like, good. Yeah. Like, I mean, like the nigga who threw that shoe at Jordan Bush. <laughs> hey, he funny, bro. But they was out in, in like yeah, that was the, in the Middle East, country. bro. And that nigga like, disappeared <laughs> after that. He I'm like, hey, look for the nigga with one shoe. Yeah. No, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can find that dude. I gotta, we we got to Google and make sure that dude's still alive. Because oh, he no. might be dead. Um, but yeah, no, for sure. If you do that disrespectful shit, like you're going you gonna to do it off the celebrity part of it. Yeah. That's where we live in. But in real life, it's like it's the same thing with the Kanye West shit where they be like, Oh, Kanye West, I can't believe you said that shit. But then next day, I see, I hear the Kanye West and blah, blah, blah track. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, you feel just on a track with him, though. Yeah. <laughs> but, then, <laughs> but then you on Twitter talking about you don't like what he said. But you definitely just did a track with the nigga. So, money, bro. Yeah. That's what it it's is. not money. They be like, they dick. Like, they, it's Kanye West. Like, shit, if I met Kanye West, I'd be like, Kanye West, like, you're a little super but like, I, I was saying, I, I might say that as he's walking away, <laughs> I would shake his hand and be like, dude, you know I love graduation or whatever. And then as you were be like, you know what come to me, you said it was stupid, right? You know you was cool a little bit, right? He's like, what you say? Nothing, man. Hey, bro, you don't put this on Twitter, right? <laughs> like, hey, Kanye ain't one of them niggas that, like, I do like his music, but I don't even think I would want to hang out with like him. It like, what were we talking about? I mean, he would just, he would just say a bunch of dumb shit, and then he would, like, look at you to agree. True. And then you would nod, and he would take that nod as an agreement. But you're just doing your regular yeah. conversational, like I understand you what you're saying. Like a nice right nigga, now. though. Huh? Like, and all like whenever you watch like not the major press, but when like random paparazzi niggas like just catch that nigga being regular. Yeah, he's like a nice nigga. I don't know. I, don't know. I feel like it would be a conversation of all over the place where he would start with like, "Hey, how you doing?" And like, "I'm good." And then he'd be like, man, you know, like, the way we act in America today is crazy. Matter of fact, like, I just got a new idea for a song, bro. Let me listen to this beat real quick. Let me know. Matter of fact, bro, I just got hungry. You trying to eat some ice cream? Let's go. Like, let's go hey, bro, let's go get some motherfucking ice cream. They're halfway through the ice cream. Walk. Matter of fact, man, fuck that ice cream shit, bro. Let's go back to the studio so I can play that track that I was trying to play you, bro. And then you get to Kanye, the studio. I'm out. And you be like, I'm out, Kanye. You be like, hey, bro, hold on. Trump about to pull up. He about to say what's up real quick, bro. And then I'm like, why y'all got me in this, bro? Yeah. I was supposed to call him to let him know if he could come through so actually he not coming through because i never called that nigga or asked him to come 
bro. I just thought he was going to come back. I felt that it was going to happen. I would be Damn. mad. Like, That's how crazy niggas talk, bro. I would be super upset if, like, I was going to hang out with Kanye and he was like, oh, yeah, I called Trump up. Because, like, you know the pictures is just going to go, you Trump and Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, not that you can say it. You know, oh. when he told you, it's about two seconds of your Trump up. I'm like, what? Trump is in here. Trump is in here. Damn. Relax, dog. <laughs> Damn, he shut you all the way down, spirit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, man, you're I'll getting on not. Insta blast. Like, your whole life could be like just instantly. Over no over that's how crazy most. motherfuckers talk, man. I'm telling you, Kanye oh, West is man. probably all over the place when he have a conversation. And you know what Kim be doing? She be like, mm-hmm. she just take her, sure. take her. Bro, are you like splitting up or something? I, so. I mean, I saw that, but I don't know if it was fake news. Usually, the way I decide if, if I'm going to even watch that, I wait till I see it from multiple sources. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, all right, it's probably not fake. But if I only see it from one source, I don't even waste my time. No more. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, we were supposed to get the main highlights. Spoken No Hero 205. Oh, told you. Uh, told him. These yep. niggas don't be thinking that you know. There was a draw, though. There was a draw. I mean, like, they said they, they said were down. Draw, they both knocked out. They said they were down, but I don't think they're going to end it as, like, an actual draw in the match. I think yeah, TV, I think, I think some high TV going to win. I had a theory that, uh, what's we call it? Gyrate homie. Oh, it's still going to be up? Because I think homie just going to, like, bust out of jail and be like, I'm the only one conscious. All right. Oh, that's kind of wild. I, I feel, feel like, like that's a chance. I feel like they should lose off the fact that they have one in jail. You feel me? Oh, like And all the other niggas don't have... Anybody in jail, but it wasn't out. just a jail. It was like unconscious too, right? Oh, I don't remember. No, I think yeah, they just gotta be in jail though. I think no, but but yeah, apparently no, this nigga Tobidori hot now. He hot. No. I mean, like he got hot, but I still gotta put the respect on Monday. He came in clutch like throughout the entire match. He's yeah. definitely the MVP. Like yeah, straight up, he, he one of them. Uh, <clears throat> Um, he he tell you, yeah, he tell you I got in on recommendation. My problem with Tokidori is this nigga just not afraid to kill nobody. Like <laughs> from day one, he been doing moves that are definitely like killing regular niggas. But like he just be like, they'll figure it out. Like because Loki, he was like, yeah, I'm getting pretty hot. Like <laughs> you could hot to the point where I'm burning my own skin. And Tetsu Tetsu say, well, I'll put my life on the line. It don't matter. But I'm like. You're just lucky that this nigga's okay with that because True. technically, like, they should be, like, kicking your ass up. <laughs> like, uh, basically just said, like, I'm close to killing you, but he was like, nah, it's cool, man. We just gonna fight for real. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But I'm like, then I go back to all of Tokidori's old shit. I'm like, this nigga was never scared to burn niggas anyway. True. Like, he just be hoping they dodge. He just be like, I'm about to light this whole building on fire. I hope you dodge. I'm about to set this whole shit on. I'm about to make this whole ice wall. One of y'all can get caught and turn into actual ice. True. But I'm going to just hope that y'all dodge. I think it's the glacier, man. Be going in because uh, Horn Girl's still awake. What? I just flipped through this whole thing. God damn. So Mud Man mm-hmm. called uh, Ojiro and Ooh, He, and knocked, Hans, the, he right? knocked Mud Man out. Yeah. Yeah. He, Mud Man got good. Ojiro. I mean, but, I was eat Eda, man. I don't, he kicked him. Is that he what He came happened? through, yeah. He just yep. slapped the fuck out. And that out. was at max speed. Like, <laughs> and he was trying to kill that. <laughs> like, like, okay. That's another motherfucking killer out here, bro. Yeah, Some but this shit. Horn Girl away. She, she's Wait, not unconscious. Did I miss that? She got slapped by a uh, uh, tail, homie. Then she got wrapped up, but then Mud Nigga come and capture them. Then he go all the way back to Tod- Todoroki. And remember, they said they was far away. So they're captured. True. Then he went all the way back to Todoroki. So technically, she's the only one that's awake. Well, I mean, okay, so what about uh, Hands, homie? Did I miss him too? Then? Yeah. He got captured. Helmet, Tails, and Hands got uh, captured. How well, I mean, like, captured in the room? prison By somehow, mud. Or? Well, they, they can't move. they in concrete. Oh. Uh, so, okay, I mean, yeah, unless you think him, one of these niggas is strong enough in, to Damn. I can see them pulling some stuff like that, I guess. So he smacked he smacked her. But she not unconscious because she's still talking. She just wrapped up. Hmm. Hmm. So if everybody sleep, damn. I no, I mean no matter what, I still think class B gonna win though. Wait, who the fourth nigga in class B? Gyrate. Oh, Gyrate. oh no. I was no, thinking no. about that too. Yeah. 
Yeah, but he got captured. He got captured. <laughs> Leader was like, nah. He got his one shot off. So, on like, him. hey, just like I said, they was going to put mad respect on class A. Like, that's how the respect. You can't get no more respect than that. Yeah. Y'all niggas is going to get dropped. Like, class A was about to whoop <laughs> their ass. But, I know, I know, this nigga, uh, oh, he's strong. He a Todoroki ass nigga. He's but strong, man, dude. dude. My man came through. I told you this nigga gonna come through with some shit. My man funny, bro. He he said I'll take the second hit. He's real. He said I'm not taking that first L, but all right, I'll take the second one. He said I own that. I own that. I at least put enough respect on my name where I take the second L. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, funniest part though, Ida like Ida definitely turned up this chapter. Like if anybody did the most, it was him. But I still don't fuck about him. Like he really like as a character. I still give zero fucks. His, like, I'm not hype. I don't want to see any more from Ida. I'm like, if the show continued on and we never saw Ida again, <laughs> I don't think I'd be Ida mad. one of my favorite anyway. characters. Really? Favorite? Uh, I, I, Were you hyping this chapter? Favorite, the yeah. So, like, I've, I've been saying this for a while. I don't know if y'all peeped it. But, I like, like I like super speed. Yeah. That's like one of my power. favorite powers. True. I like how they did it with the engine thing. I think that's cool. Uh-huh. Ida, one of my favorite characters. Honestly, the only thing I don't like about Ida, which I hope they change, is the fact that he He's following a uh, brother. Yeah, he's following a legacy. Yeah, he but like, I know they're not gonna change because like it's Japan and then it's yeah. a legacy. Yeah, so, like he's going to do it, but like I wish he just did his own thing. Yeah, it's yeah. the she control shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really, it is. Because all them dudes just oh well, we a team because because we follow. I'm getting the team. That's kind of wild though. How they force all three of them to still them be a team? Probably not at the same time. Huh? They're probably busting us at the same time. Oh, hey, y'all about hey, to have a kid? Okay. Hey, you better get it in. Y'all better get it in now. <laughs> you know, so hurry up, man. You about to start filming it. Y'all fuck today? Like, how shit you must be to be the random kid that's not... Like, what if one of them had twins? You're the one nigga that's not in the English Chica Chow? You disgraceful fuck. No, they try, <laughs> they try to, like, fit him in, but then it didn't work out. Like, yeah. they tried one thing, like, all right, well, we'll have I two mean, mind readers now or whatever. All like, right, low-key, they could probably still do it as long as it's not the mind reader family. Like, two Chica Mouths, that'd be dope. I can see that. Or two, like, trophies. That can be cold. Again, I can see that, you know? But the two mind readers, I don't Ooh, know. Dual, I just, what I don't know. dual uppercuts? So, like, what do you do? They could be on that dual area shit. Like, with the butterfly mm-hmm. mode, that shit would be cold. Right? So they like, need two Chojis. What do you do if, because, like, all these people, they grow up together, all this shit. What do you do if one of them fall in love? Like, oh, shit, hey, I want to marry you, Choji nigga. That's now right. you don't fucked up the shit. Yeah. Now, bro, you don't fucked up the shit. Uh, they probably cut, they did that shit all the way. They're like, what? No, sorry. sorry but they tell them as soon as they start becoming friends, y'all know this. this or they make their kid pick a side. Mm-hmm. They like, oh, you gonna have to be, you know. No, y'all gonna have to pop out too when we gonna get one, you know, yeah, one chosen. You know, like, yeah, they they she rather goes. quickly within each other. So Wait, because she can die is. He's a oh Tamari and Shikamaru, so he yeah, yeah. the other dude niggas was fine on my boy. She could die. Who's the Eno dude? Oh, it's Sai and him. That's why. So he ain't yeah. expert. He just paints shit and mind control. That's dope. Imagine if he could mind control his paints. That That's awesome. stupid. What do you need to do that for? He already controlled. He could, he could, he could be. He could be like Brand. <laughs> but if he already but he can't see things. through him. What you mean? Like he can't see through oh, his paint. Okay, okay. Like, so like he can Brand use it has more of a scouting thing. That will make him a raw ass scout. Oh, so I'll make a bird. We not looking it. for those, though. Mm. Not in the league. Oh, movies. niggas only throwing hands. Where is where is scouts at? <laughs> I I am surprised. Well, that's a Boruto thing, but based apparently they have some nigga that's controlling the chakra in the village. Mm-hmm. So they have like a chakra barrier that like um. Oh, because that motherfucker went up when Itachi got in there. <laughs> no, I think it might have been. It might have been. Walk yeah. right through that. <laughs> <that park. laughs> I think he was there. It's not like to prevent them. It's just like as soon as you walk in the village, a few nigga that's not from there, they know. So That's they true. alert people. That's true. So it could actually mean that they did know that he walked in because that would explain how them niggas assume that Kuro and I just pulled up on them. I thought they was just walking. No, I wasn't <laughs> right. no, I I know, bro. No, I mean there. like the whole no. point of Kisame and Tachi showing up was to let them know we still here, still banging. Oh, yeah, like actually, that was the entire point. They they mentioned that in Naruto because remember um, when Pain was invading, mm-hmm. he was like, "Yeah, we walk in there." Them niggas gonna know what's up. So right. they shot the summoning nigga. Right. He just came in that bitch and summoned. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> Get off that. That is what they uh, answered, though, yeah. Literally. Because that's what happened in Boruto. So there's a nigga who people are saying is somehow related to Jirai or whatever. And they they were about to invade the village. And he was like, oh, you can't go in there because if you go, they're going to know you in there. But I can. And I was mm-hmm. like. And that's the the big question is on who the fuck is you there since you could just hop um, up in that bitch now. Have y'all watched uh, Gara? Um, 
What's that shit? Agara Gaiden mm-hmm. is like a story about it, like they got all these guidance for all the characters. Yeah, it's the one, but shit. it's like a jokey shit, right? Oh damn, that's weak. <laughs> I got Liga one where it's just like a bunch of chibis though. Oh, I it's like a chibi shit. Oh, it's me. not an anime. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, but no, nah, that's not anime. It's a manga. Like in between Naruto and Boruto, like all the like main characters, oh, they get like I these like little guidance oh, chapters. Yeah, oh, that's up. legit. And I was like, man, they the niggas was plotting plotting on my boy. She could die from the jump. Because, like, the Kaze Kage is, like, you know, passed down hereditarily. Right. And they was like, Gara, you ain't got no hoes. So they was like, you know, oh, if you don't get no hoes, wow. the next heir is it's, Shika dying. That's yeah. We can't have that nigga <laughs> <laughs> running two villages, bro. So you got to get you a, a bitch, bro. You got to get a kid. Damn. And that's why he end up, because um, Gara can't get no hoes. Yeah. Uh, that's why he end up. Uh, what, Gara gay or something? What, no, Kong, he, just, Kong, 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 he just not into He him. a weak nigga. Oh, that, he. That's why he adopted Shinky, the, uh-huh. the nigga with the like the. So cult. adopted kids work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was just like, oh yeah, I adopt this nigga. This this is my heir. Wow, that's so. kind of wild. Sir, sure, sure probably some kid get it. Did Conqueror get in with anybody? Hmm? Did Conqueror get Not in? Yeah. Probably on puppets. And that'd be my thing. Fucking the shit out. And, and Gar a guy that somebody <laughs> tried to assassinate. You know he Gara. got a sex doll shot. Oh, 100%. no, he got at least twenty. Oh, at least twenty. You know, twenty so, sex dolls. Army. Yep. Oh yeah. Some nigga tried to assassinate Gara, and I was just like, "Bro, you know he spent his whole childhood with niggas trying to assassinate him. Yeah. You oh. stupid bitch! What you <laughs> thought you was gonna do? Kill him while he grown? <laughs> he been doing this since he was twelve. Yeah, bro, was like, sleep. I sleep though, bro. <laughs> Gara probably get twenty minutes of sleep now. After all those years, he of finally sleeping, sleep. But oh, I don't even think it's a long sleep. I think he I like. I don't think he He just like. Okay. Yeah, and then he, then ninja me to do it. What yeah, I knocked out yeah. for three seconds. Yeah, I'm good to go though. I'm good. I'm yeah, up. my breath stink a little bit. I gotta brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Them ten minutes. You got the morning, bro. Go do his whole shit. Go do his whole shit in ten minutes, man. Damn, I would be forgot about that, man. The kid yeah, didn't sleep. Called. The kid yeah, didn't you sleep. Ain't, you ain't sleeping up. Yeah. That I, yeah. guard just be like how you sitting right there. That's guard at the edge of his bed <laughs> every night. Every night, just thinking about his sand building. What's going on in the sand? <laughs> who, who I gotta run yeah. up on? Hey, he probably on some yeah. daredevil shit at this point where he Ooh. hearing everything going on yeah. in the village. He, he, I can't. I can't hear through the sand. Like the sand in your house. I'm there. Damn. Like low key, it looks like, real. It look like tomorrow. Shikubar got some more problems again. I hear them niggas arguing. Yo, so I got a question. Conqueror man, this nigga fucking sex. <laughs> he goes scenario, bro. He goes scenario, bro. You live in the same village. You're a regular nigga. You about to start doing it with your wife, and you just see a, a eyeball, a sad eyeball, a sad eyeball in the corner. You know it's gone, bro. But what you gonna do? <laughs> do you keep going or do you stop, bro? No, nah, there'd be no point because he could do it at any time. So it's gonna happen sometime. It. So it's, it. like, it's just nah, this time you looked up. I just take a little eyeball. That motherfucker just falls. Stop it. That's what I'm doing. Oh, what are you doing every time? Like, this is how I get my kicks, nigga. I ain't got no hoes. <laughs> he probably on that though. Yeah. Gar Loki, he, he on that uh that bulls like mm-hmm. bullshit, stalking somebody. <laughs> just watching, nigga. Oh, Living vicariously. Yeah, just ra- just random couples get invited to to the Kaze Kage mansion. He's just like, hey man, I know Dude. this y'all. <laughs> I want to watch. <laughs> Uh-oh. And he don't even touch it. They, 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 they probably can't for the kid being low key. That's probably why he can't low key. Because oh, no, no, his dad no. fucked up like that, man. Yeah. Oh, I like. Bro. I, I, how? What? What was the period of What's time it? that Rochemar was his dad? I don't think it was that long. It was it a very short few period. months or a year. Couldn't a few months that long. Yeah. A few months. I think he snatched that nigga up like right before they was planning to go to the the league village. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Damn it, he took out a whole... C- I don't, people don't put enough respect on Roshimaru's name. Yeah, Roshimaru is powerful. That's, That's why I say Kaze I mean, Kage. this kid was about to take out the whole village but then by again, himself, in a way. Kaze uh, Kage, not the same. And that's all because of four, the fourth day. If the fourth was, like, not fighting Roshimaru, I don't think Gar would have stood a chance. Honestly, I don't think Gar would have had the ability to take Where? over that whole, the whole leaf. Where? Wait, what you mean? You're talking about Gar, right? No, 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 no. I'm talking about... No, what I'm saying is that Roshimaru set up 
the whole attack on the league oh, pretty okay, much yeah. by himself. These are minions, okay, bro. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he pretty much pulled the pain before oh. the pain did it, you know? Oh, I thought you were saying Gara was strong enough that he could take that shit out. I was no. like, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Somebody, he just happened to fight, uh, what's his face, but Jiraiya would have bodied that nigga. If Sudani was walking down the street, she would have just been like, fuck! <laughs> 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 I slept in a long time. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, bro. <laughs> she would have slept that nigga so hard. Any guard wouldn't even expect it, bro. You know the ones where they, they have to do, like, the triple clip of the punch? Mm-hmm. Like how when Goku <laughs> right up there? That's what it would have been with Tsunami's punch. It like, uh... He would have got socked, bro. Uh, he would have been slept. I feel like, like no, nobody... He would have been slept so him. hard, the, the fucking Saiyan monster wouldn't have came out. The one time would have he would have been slept too in the hope, cage. Hope would be like, no. One time, I'm good. She would have slept him in the cage too. Boy. You know, you sleep too, nigga. Both of y'all. Damn, I had napped this good in years, bro. It's called all this black shit gone and everything. <laughs> bro, hey, you still want to get refreshed. So why? Why ain't nobody questioning the Kaze Kai Because you feel me? Like, you know, they like they like the weakest village. Like, really? They, you feel like they say Because they poor. If you think about it, they yeah. ain't got money like that. Oh, uh, I ain't know. And Kona are the strongest villains. Like, yeah. And so when my Kaze Kaga was like, hey, bro, we about to run up on these niggas in the Chuni exam. <laughs> yeah, I know every other village there and they could defend this shit. Like, yeah. there's so many things that go wrong. We about to go in there with not our whole force and we about to run up on all of Kona. <laughs> I'd have been like, all right, but guys. I feel like it's not- <laughs> maybe I'm the, the you know the Debbie Downer here, but maybe we shouldn't do that because that's how fucking stupid. I feel like it's not a debate in the same village. That's probably true. I feel like that's it's true. not a debate at all. That's probably they true. They had two true. old motherfuckers that were making decisions it. that we didn't find out existed till Chibuden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and them old niggas say no. Like think about it. like Grandma Chio. Like you probably like grew up with the Kaze Kage or something, right? Mm-hmm. You should have had a hint that like. All right, this nigga acted a little funny. He make a lot of hissing sounds. <laughs> I, I never heard that nigga make hissing sounds before. He just, hey, we going to Kona. <laughs> Ain't no S at the end of Kona. What you see for? Don't question me, yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, so all the niggas just like, oh, he must be sick. Hey, you know what? Uh, one nigga probably said some shit that got evaporated. They was like, I ain't gonna be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we in Kona? I bet. Strap up. What are you talking about? We in this motherfucker. Because, <laughs> oh, like, the more you, you think about that plan, the trans more trans. it sounds dumb as fuck. <laughs> hey, bro, we gonna run up on these niggas. You know what would have been better? Let's host it here, Lord Kaze Kage, and run up on these niggas while we got our no, own we form. Doing that. No, we gotta run up on that shit today. <laughs> Tonight, nigga. Like, like, you why? sure? Hey, don't we have the whole film? You know Kakashi there, right? You know, fuck that. We in there, bro. I mean, you can't copy Sand. You said some stupid That nigga's like, we got Gara. <laughs> and a bunch of goofy niggas was like, bad. But you know what, niggas? When motherfuckers start thinking, right, is when a guy slapped Gara saying, that's when one motherfucker was like, no. No. <laughs> I don't even know this nigga, bro. You just slap that nigga saying, it's the strongest we got. When my guy gave, or when uh, Rockley gave that nigga, that, duh, 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 it was some sand village niggas that was like, oh, I don't think this is going to go right, bro. Is that I don't think this is going to It's okay, we got the hidden village in the sound with us. And then they seen them niggas get dropped and they was like, oh. <laughs> when, the, when the Gideon stopped, eight hey, hit the sound and just out of the light. No, no, I'm out, bro. I'm out of here. Chica Maru stopped. Eight of y'all niggas, I'm going. And the Roshimaru is so petty because it's like, bro, you didn't even bring out the. the we know you had niggas in the base, bro. True. Come on, Sasuke went to all bro. them bases, and he got he. We found Jugo ass in there. <laughs> we found Car ass in there. Jugo little pee wee, bro. He bro, just got bro. he got the boost stuff. But at that right, point in time, but, in the Shippuden, I mean, in the Naruto point in time, he, he would at least body all the regular niggas. If, if, if he, you don't think so? If he brought you know, Sasuke level at that time, he wouldn't. I don't think he Sasuke level. No, but I mean, like, oh, you're talking about like, like he was a kid. He yeah. was a kid at the point in time where Naruto happened. So this is why I think happens. You bring Jugo, who's integral to your plans of making curse marks. Yeah. You losing that nigga that night. Because, like, any Joni ran up on that nigga, he did. Like, that's it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you're it. definitely going to lose your curse mark juice at that point. Mm. So, like, don't bring Jugo. <laughs> you bring Karen, they going to be like, hey, bro, this bitch of Uzumaki, this is our property. She's not coming home with you. You know what I'm right. saying? 
You know, I'm still hot though that we just like let that curse mark shit be regular and shit with it. Yeah. Like, I mean, no, Wait, and, and Boruto, mean? like, the fact that, like, Orochimar did all this petty shit, and, uh, what's her face, Anko, she mm-hmm. has a curse mark, and she just, like, she's a fat bitch now, no offense oh, to, to fat bitches out there, but, like, she literally just, like, chill. it doesn't matter, but, like, when it first came up in Naruto, it was like, this is gonna matter, you this know what I mean? This shit can kill you. Like, she's hot about it, right? Yeah. And then now she's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna eat my fucking taoyaki and shit and chill, bro. Pretty and I'm just like, and Orochimaru is just a regular dude now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, now that they connected it and, like, you know where the shit come from, it's like, it's nature chakra. So, like, shouldn't the curse mark always be a thing? Like, if you don't master nature chakra, don't you turn the stone? Shouldn't that always be a fear? <laughs> like, hey, bro, if you don't get rid of this, Uncle, you gonna turn the stone? Like, oh, baby, she's a like, nature nah, chakra man. Good. Where snake I'm just juice gonna eat. I mean, Uncle was weak. That's crazy. That was that was probably his first his first little underling. Till Kabuto took his shine, bro. True. Kabuto was on that random shit. <laughs> you know, random for recess. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> then fucking, mm-hmm. fucking um. Our oh, Rochemar was Mr. Fisher, but she found he, he she found like another little kid. Mm-hmm. Kabuto has just like that little kid jealous as hell. He's like, I'm gonna fuck you up. I'm gonna fuck you up. And then he got that curse mark and said, Oh, oh Rochemar don't love you no more. And then she was like, Oh, I fucking hate you a lot. Because I think she probably would have been better than he was. You know, in mm-hmm. her prime. You know what made Kabuto such a weak ass nigga? <laughs> his highlight is running away from niggas. When that, Kabuto was at his raws was when that nigga faked being dead and dipped out that medical <laughs> thing. I am like, that nigga raw as hell. And that I was the last thing he did. I get one moment. When Sudani fucked that nigga up so bad that all of his shit worked opposite. Oh, bro. He and then he was instant. able to figure that out in like five seconds. I was like, all right, I'll put some respect on your name there. Because it was like, he was like oh, if I try to move my pinky toe, this actually moved. And then he was like, oh, if I try to do this, this actually moved. Then he was like, all right, I'm ready. I didn't get I'm no like, respect to it because I was like, it was like, hey, bro, before that, they was like, he's smart. Mm-hmm. That's his thing. Oh, and then Orochimaru keeps saying, Orochimaru says this like eight times, you know stronger than Kakashi. So I'm like, bro, he at least Kakashi level. Could I see Kakashi being like, okay, I got it. Yeah, so I was just like, <laughs> when he did that, I was like, yeah, nigga, you better, bro. Like, if that's stopping you, you're weak. Because like, Kakashi wow. not getting dropped from that. Wow. Kakashi not going. So, like, hey, bro, come on. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Because I mean, the weaker he get, the more disrespect that is on Kakashi's name. You know, I guess. Uh, you know what? Well, I, already did I mean, I it. never put respect, I guess, on Kabuto's physical abilities in the first place. It was, it was mostly the smarts. Yeah. I mean, this kid found Madara. Like, that alone is like a feed and up. And he got like. knocked the fuck out by uh, Naruto, so, you know. Yeah. We know Multiple he's times. True. <laughs> Multiple times. But, I mean, like, he was the key player in that whole role, to be honest. Um, I, mean, I, I know people try to put their respect on his name, but I'm just like, you just... Anyone could have held that position, but mm-hmm. besides the fact that you were smart enough to find moderate sure, whatever, and maybe you master some jutsu, sure, whatever. But I mean, like your plot. your class was yeah, your class was the class or tier he was in. That's expected behavior. It's not like he did something so magical that I'm like, damn, only a god would be able to do something. Like we could have replaced. Like, him and Naruto with, should be able to do that jutsu. I we could have replaced him with Obito, and it would have been the same thing. He said better story. But yeah, Kabuto was a plot device. So I don't put any respect on none of his Shakuden feats. None. Like, that, that was all part of it. I know, that is how I feel. You like. could have been replaced with anybody. He did at the end. Because I'm like, first of all, you didn't even master the, the Sage mode. At least if you did that, then I would have respected you as a real one. And then second, even after Rochimaru's, like, fake death, like, you didn't become a person. You still became, you were still his lackey oh, even in, in, in the fake death, yeah, which to me blew the fuck out of me. Like, I'm like, bro, I thought maybe your whole plan was to be like Orochimaru is, which is like a come up ass nigga. So, like, I'm under you, but I'm really trying to come up on you at some point. Yeah, like, I thought I'm he just was waiting for the opportunity. Yeah, but, but he, he was, was a he was lackey still to the end. You yeah, like, Igor the nigga is dead, end. and you're still like, yeah, and you're Igor, still, still Igor. flipping switches, nigga. Like, you stupid, nigga. Get out of my face. Get out this series, man. Man, walk, <laughs> go walk your ass to Bleach, bro. They're looking for more <laughs> Igors than Bleach. Eisen, Eisen already lost two of his Igors. He dumbass mm-hmm. motherfucker. And at least they tried. My bad. Tosin didn't try. His dumbass. But Gin tried. That was a surprise. Gin, that was like, oh, shit, yeah. No, actually, I was... I had this stupid ass sword ability, and I was trying to kill Eisen with it. I was uh, like, oh, okay, I'll put some respect on your name. But... 
Yeah, go go over to Bleach Cobble Joe. They want you there. Or Fairy Tail. They, they love you at Fairy Tail. Because you really bought your friends. He a loyal ass nigga. He be one of the strongest niggas in Fairy Tail. Don't sleep. Uh, yeah. That nigga loyal. Uh, we just yeah. need one friend. Everybody just gave up on the road tomorrow night. You're not taking that nigga out. He just guarded one tower. And that's a road tomorrow tower. Even Nazi can't fight that nigga. That's how strong his nigga is. This nigga friendship way too strong for me, bro. I tried it. I tried it, but his friendship way too strong. Oh, no. I gotta relax. But yeah, back to um, Boku no Hero. Uh, long side tangent. Yeah. Fuck. That's hey, gonna be a lot I mean, of little, little cut video. up there, yeah. We pretty much finished it, though, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I don't have nothing else for that one. No smoke yeah. for that. Um... Class, class, class one B. Yeah. But hey, that that solidifies my thing. Baku go not taking the L. Bro. I don't care who on that team. Baku go not losing. He I right. wish he did. He but right. I mean, yeah, I can accept class that. And Baku go team weak too. This nigga look garbage. I can't remember. Wait, so after okay, so let's say let's say Class B like takes his win, right? What's going to be like the record so far? Uh, to two to B and one to A. A won the first one and right. then B won the next. Right, one. right, you're right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so that makes sense. All right, well, we'll see. I mean, but now, even though it's, it's predicted, I just hope that he don't make his show that predictable, if that makes sense. That's what you mean. Right, so, like, I mean, it's good that I'm like, yeah, I predicted this, and then it starts to happen that way. Yeah. But if his show becomes, like, overly predictable... Oh, yeah, it's going to start to get annoying. Mm-hmm. No, I feel you. I just oh. want to know, like, in this next fight, I just really want to know what this bitch with the black hair quirk is. That's it. That's all I care about. Mm. Mm. Everybody else, like, just make this quick, bro. Baku go mop these niggas and keep it moving. <laughs> hey, you think you're gonna want, you not even going to use the help? Is Sugar Bomb buddy with his team? Who? Um, Baku's team. Yeah, Sugar Rush or whatever. Yeah. Man. Sugar Rush, Cero, and Earphone Jack. Like, they team two set up. Who's the other one? Earphone Jack? No, before Earphone Jack. Tape on me? Tape on me. Yeah. Wow. So it was like, they team the Tape set up, me up to... Up to, to, to to capture niggas. Yeah. Like, oh, we got ear bitch who can hear you and then take nigga that grab you. And then Baku go and muscle nigga yeah. got hands. Muscle ain't just fought. A fought. And then this, I know this nigga do glue shit. He like can spit out glue. Um, Maybe he uh, countered the tape on me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Um, this nigga can fuse items to things. Uh, I remember that he deal with that double. Counter I'd be curious how he does his stuff though. He has to touch it. Hmm. This nigga just makes time. blades on his hands. I mean, he might Cares. get some upgrade, but yeah. last time I seen him, he just makes blades. And then I don't know what this bitch do. Hmm. So the blade homie is probably a counter to Sugar Bomb homie. Oh, because you can't go hand to hand with him. Um, oh, yeah, just a note. Give, before I forget, oh, give yeah. Todoroki some hands. Please. Like, Please. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's, that is actually a very good point. Be okay. This nigga is I mean, too confident in the fact that nobody's going to touch it's him. too much. That like, he has no hands. Right. Tetsu was literally destroying him. Yeah, like, and I don't even think he was he trying. Tetsu was just grabbing him. for that nigga. He could have killed him. Cool. If, if Tetsu Tetsu him? wanted to kill Tetsu, Tetsu, he could have. <laughs> Let's be real. Look. That, mean he ain't got that nigga the whole time he was walking up, that nigga was like, bro. Please stop. Like, I will murder you. <laughs> he could have killed that nigga. Literally, he was like, fuck it. I'm about to kill you. And then that nigga was like, hey, bro, stop, because this will melt Tetsu Tetsu. And, yeah. he's, and he's he still kept him. going, though. So let's be real here. Ain't nobody proved that he need hands yet. Nobody. Come on. Uh, I guess another flame is going to come back. He probably Ice. will need it. His dad will probably drop his ass. Ice. Still. Ice. Baby. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wow. Actually, I think he could beat Endeavor right now. What? Here's my argument. Blasphemy. Nope, I'm about to tell you out. Uh, if he's smart. That's blasphemy. This I'm is sorry. out. Uh, one, all he needs to do is make the area hot. As long as he keeps the area hot, Endeavor can overheat. Like, his outside surroundings. Why mean, so can he, though? Yeah, but well, he actually has the ability the cool. to cool himself down. Right? That That's what makes... Te- technically, Todoroki's power is more OP than one for all. Or all for one. It's more OP because all for one has a cap. Like we know it, it has a cap. There is a maximum amount it can put out. <clears throat> Todoroki power has no cap. It's unlimited. But he was burning his own skin when he started eating this shit up. Yeah, that's because he chose to go with that power. He literally said, I could just cool myself down. Like he could just keep going between cooling and heating himself up. And in theory, his power has zero limit. Mm-hmm. It's unlimited. And that is fucking busted. 
right? And he's just a, a child now. Huh. When he's an adult, like, he has an unlimited power. All right, now, time out. When he gets to, like, Endeavor's age, can he beat Endeavor? No, Without a doubt. But I'm saying right now, Endeavor can withstand two, like, he's still, he's too used to that heat that Todoroki's just now Endeavor throwing that. out three prominence burns and was like, nigga, I'm, I'm tired. It's hot. Okay, we tell that. Do you think this Todoroki heat right now is equivalent to a prominence burn? Though? He don't, I'm not saying attack him. He don't need to attack him. All he has to do is he, he dodge him mm-hmm. and turn he, up he the heat out of air. Well, that's the thing, though. He is he really dodge dodging Endeavor? Endeavor? This level. He I mean, don't fly. forget Endeavor got ice strats dude. and Tomodori he got hands. So, like, ice. Tomodori he can block him with ice. Bruh. Let's put it this way: the only way he gets through the ice is with a problem is burn because that makes him true. Ice, he can ice up a whole Olympic stadium. True. Boo! I mean, if he has ice block this whole Olympic stadium, I have that much ice in front of me. Okay, so the only way he gets through that is with a problem is burn. All right, mm-hmm. he only got three, and it's about his his internal heating up. He can heat up, which means the outside. Uh, temperature can affect him. So all Total Road you gotta do is like, oh, okay, I'm gonna keep it hot. You gonna overheat quicker. So let's say now he only got two prominence burns. If you don't knock this nigga out in two prominence burns, he is physically unable to fight. I think you're giving too much respect on Total Rogi's endurance, though. I mean, okay, so let's say he can go as hot or like, as cold as what he needs to. It still takes energy to put out that output, no, though. Never once has he said that. He said his well, only. I mean, like. I mean, how much of an extreme has Todoroki really been through, like, considering the history? Though? He's went to the max of, like, dr- completely ice covering the whole thing. And then this thing right here. He's never once mentioned that he needs energy to do so. Only thing he needs is to make sure his temperature is regulated. Either he can get too hot or too cold. But he can switch between the two to balance himself out. Todoroki is perfect, and Endeavor says so, because that nigga don't have a weakness. He has unlimited power. He just got to balance the two. That his power more busted than all for one. Mm. That nigga, look, it definitely uh, said that nigga. I, still, yeah, I definitely think at this point he's proven that he has a potential to be better than Endeavor. But I don't know. It's the same thing with the Lumillion argument. I just felt like Pro Hero is still a tier, bro. But you can't okay. just be out here saying that. It's not. I don't That's think like saying it's a completely be different argument. The beginning. But it's a completely different argument. What you mean? And so, like, quirks have a a a. a a limit, a capacity. Right. And so far, every court we've seen, except for two, have had some limitation, a cap. That's all for one mm-hmm. that don't with this nigga that can just take power and do whatever fuck he wants. Mm-hmm. We've seen no physical cap to his power. Mm-hmm. And then Todoroki power. Them niggas have completely busted powers. Yeah. And busted powers can just take you over the top. Right? That's true. Like, so, like, fuck training, fuck will a warrior. Your busted power can flip you to the top. And right now, his power is more overpowered than Deku power. Mm-hmm. Because all for one, or whatever, you know the fuck one. He doesn't have about, the limitations of all for one right now. Hmm? He doesn't have the de- limitations Deku has for all for yeah. one. Yeah, currently, or let's say, let's not say currently, because currently he's not his max. It, with complete mastery of his power, it's all my power source. All, he beating all my. I think he actually. I don't know because he's the main character, but this is what I'm gonna say. Todoroki, endeavor not bullshit. Todoroki legitimately has a chance at being the number one hero. Like, hey, bro, all my. I'm actually stronger than you, even yeah. with your quirk. I'm better. He's the main character, so bullshit happens. But he has the quirk to do it. Do you think at this point moment, though, he has the ability? At this point, I think he has a chance. I'm not going to sit I, here and say I he... I don't think that man can keep Well, you're talking about All Might? Oh, yeah, All No, Might. he doesn't beat All Might. Oh, okay. No, I'm talking about... I'm All thinking right, we're talking about Endeavor. Endeavor, right now, he has a chance. Two out of ten fights, I think he can take two oh, out okay. of ten. That's fine. As long as you're not saying, like, ten out of ten. Mm-hmm. I, I, I still feel like the two out of ten is, like, a reach, <laughs> but I'm more reasonable than you saying, like, every time... Chips is down. He's beating Endeavor. I just Endeavor don't, I don't see got it. too much uh, seasoning behind. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's been doing Experience, the shit too long. I feel like he got speed on him. I feel like he. Can but get I just close. thought of one strat that could be Endeavor. What's the strat? The, the one shot I was talking. Overheat the him. Overheat, overheat him. him. Defend with the ice and overheat him, and you can beat Endeavor. Like we saw Endeavor fight at his max ability. That nigga don't got endurance. Three prominence burns, and that nigga like I'm going to sleep. He's, bro, I gotta check out that fight again. I mean, like, yes, yeah. three problems burns, but again, that's like your ultimate attack. So if you can pull fly. out three of those, okay. But I, was I mean, think all was my kid. That no one was OP, bro. So. That no one was a pretty OP. I don't think. I don't think Tony would have got that strength output, bro. Hmm? I feel like we still gotta think of the fact that these niggas is kids, man. I don't even think they get that strength output that 
And that mm, was put I don't. I don't think so. That's a flop. That's a like a, they even oh, said that Lemillion. Hmm? Lemillion would have been the number one hero. Lemillion is stronger than Endeavor coming out of high school. Hawks coming out of high school is already know. number three. They uh, said it. They was like, this nigga is the closest to being all might. Yeah. Coming out of high school, he's he would have been stronger than more. Well, was well, that just Lumillion base power right now, or are we talking about Lumillion with all from one base inserted? Power. So just with the fact Damn, that he can face, so. I'm just shit. going off of what niggas say in the thing. I Have we like, actually seen it? I feel like oh. if we think about it off of, off battle shit, then yes, Lumillion can definitely be Endeavor in terms of a battle and be a better. And hero. then if we talk about yeah, hero wise, like popularity, all that other stuff. So he's yes, better than that nigga. Uh, in every way, shape, and form, right? Like. <laughs> I mean, like <laughs> better. I don't know. I still wait the. Exp- experience and like I, I still know can experience you beat important. can you beat the same types of dudes Endeavor can I feel like it's mm-hmm. just a hard counter you know I, I mean? think I feel it, like we don't we not mm-hmm. waiting the like that the fact no, that he's a hard counter then that no cause we fight. just said he could Hawks we believed in the past Hawks could easily beat and Hawks is three mm-hmm. no or two move, now but that no move fight showed me how weak Endeavor is mm-hmm. that Endeavor low key not that great cause All Might would have thrashed that no move real quick uh, but it's also not fair because the Nomu itself was pretty broken. So was the Nomu All My Fault. Well, Nomu All My Fault oh. was just a strong shock absorber motherfucker. No, and he had healing. And he could heal. And Devil would have cursed that nigga up. You don't think he would have no, cursed him up? No, because he had the same healing that the devil was like, fuck, this nigga healed. All my was like, oh, this nigga heal. Go beyond. Nah, oh, knock that nigga to the point. I mean, it wasn't the just a healer, though. The problem is burning the fuck up there was that he didn't burn all of them. He burned, like, a portion of them, and then he was able to heal. Right, he was on that cell. If he burned all of them, then like, he would have been done. Like, you look Remember, he, like, burned, like, a piece off. Like, I think he tried to, like, save his He burned his everything shit. about that nigga head. Yeah, and then that's, that's the where he regenerated Because he a but, goofy. But if he burnt that nigga head, it was a wrap. So yeah, I don't see but how he that, the strong shock absorber, yeah, that's his stupidity. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about, we talking about just power output. Like, his, he would have been able to beat the Nomu All Might beat. No, the Nomu that All nigga Might All Might was a hard counter to All Might. He regenerated like a whole arm. What you talking about? The Nomu All Might fall? Yeah, remember when Toro, he froze that nigga? Uh-huh. That nigga popped his arm off and he hit that nigga with the, with the, uh, the piccolo. Yeah. Wow, and that shit came back. Yeah. That nigga can heal too. He can heal. He was strong as fuck, fast as fuck, shock, shock absorb. So basically, he was a hard counter just like that other normal was. And all my said, fuck that shit. Plus, ultra with that nigga to the moon. Yeah. And, and Devil was like, oh, he can heal. It's too much. It got rocked. No, I don't think that was it, bro. <laughs> Almost <laughs> murdered. There was more than that because he was also no, he was not, power stealing. I mean, like, what power I'm trying stealing. to say. Wasn't he power stealing? What, well, the first normal? The second normal. The second normal mm-hmm. could like clone. Mm-hmm. I don't nah, know. that that's what I'm talking about. The clone, yeah. Like no, no, okay. So that first normal, he had healing, regenerative abilities, cool. Uh-huh. But I think the second one, it's not, it's not just regenerative. You know, like I think he was able to like, as soon as you cut off an arm, even if you kill the main body, that arm will become another one. You know yeah. what I mean? Well, it's just like to me, a little bit different. I, feel like like I mean, still I still to... argue that I still agree that All Might could beat both of those no moves, mm-hmm. but okay. I don't. I disagree on the fact that Endeavor couldn't beat that first one. I think Endeavor easily could have beat that first one. No, I don't think so. I don't know. About I, don't easily. Easily. I don't know about easily, but I, I think I agree with one you. Yeah. Burn I would take him out. One problem is burn on a full body. It's over. All I never did was that, punch that nigga into space. This other no move was that nigga still alive in space, faster. ain't he not? I think All Might's no move was way faster. Really? And then Endeavor's no move. You think so? Because Endeavor's, Endeavor's no possible. move was fast for Endeavor. All Might's no move was fast for All Might. All Might was like, damn, nigga, you fast. So <laughs> Endeavor would have been like, oh, I'm about to kill this dead. Oh. I'm dead. Oh. And then he ripped my head off. I'm gone. Oh. That Fuck. no move was superior, nigga. Let's wrap this shit up. Right <laughs> <laughs> now. What a homie, he like a dead. <laughs> <Well, laughs> Uh, let's move on to Black Clover, Seven Deadly yeah. Sins. Uh, Black Clover. Pink Clover. Not much happened. Yeah. Though I think. Langris is knocked out. Yeah, he done. See you later. I think that. Uh, KO. Key, what the. Whatchamacallit? When. Um, Mirrored, homie? Nah. When. Fuck. I forgot people's names. When, like, pretty much the main. Jack and elf. No, 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 no. no. When, oh, like, the Lich. main elf was talking with. Um, Lich. Yeah, yes, thank you. Uh-huh. When uh, Lich was talking to like his other elf homies, I think he revealed that the last magic stone is Yuno's necklace. 
Oh, I think that was, the, uh, that was the shadow shape. I feel like I saw that coming what? from episode. I didn't even know you don't have a necklace. Real talk. I'm really? really? I mean, when like, they were orphans, I mean, like, they're, they were both like just babies, except you know who had the one necklace piece. Oh, Other see, than that, that's where it's straight come from. Let me put it. Let me put it this way, man. I'm in Black Clover for the hands only. <laughs> like, yeah, anytime yeah. they try to introduce any type Story. of, like, deep plot, I go, like, I don't want to get invested. I learned my lesson from fairy tale. When you start trying to add shit to the story, You're right. I'm just, I'm on the hands. hands. So, like, yeah, I had no clue. Like, I knew he has, like, jewelry and shit, but I didn't know it was important. You I don't think it's also an anime of Black Clover? It's just I hate. watch it on Toonami, but that's it? it. They talk a little bit, but it'd be like, it'd no, be dude, like, as soon I'm as sure Yami seems be lit. Like, this nigga Asta be like, don't you know where in, like, normal anime it's like, oh, the main character is broken right now. Ain't no fighting. Yeah. It'd be like, the main character broke broken. Asta, like, we, we still boxing. Bro. <laughs> a nigga, oh, wow. I just got off a bitch and some shit blew up. We scrapped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, bro. Y'all niggas rest. No, no, no. <laughs> no it's like Clover, nigga. Dude, it's that no. magic power is on point, fam. This nigga, you know what? Yeah, I feel like the writer of this was like, hey, bro, I know what niggas want. New version of Dragon Ball Z. Niggas just gonna be strong. <laughs> That's what they need. Like, look, man, there's just certain animes that speak to the trap. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, Black Clover, Fairy Tale. Those are just the ones that just speak to the niggas that's about the hands. They don't have time for right. a story. They not trying to pay attention to no characters. They just want to see somebody get dropped. True. That's it, man. I mean, um, Black Clover ready to get deep. I mean, it's just like the, if all the plot carries it to the next big fight, that's all they need. Yeah, like that's it. But um, it works. Yeah, and then Mirror Homie, like I'm, I'm guessing he's gonna be raw now that he has like OP oh, magic. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know how raw he's actually gonna be. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like I don't know the Jack and Jack's power is broken, but I'm I also so kind of like, um, I want to see more captains fight. Like, I don't know. I just need to see it's, you it's a little something. old because well, I, I feel like Yami, Yami uses it. the same three moves, so I'm kind of already got bored with Yami's fights. And then, Jack's I mean, like, the problem oh, is that there's not, I'm I mean, there's not bored. many left yeah. that we haven't seen really fight, though. That's the problem. That's true. The only one, oh, uh, Clay what's her face? Maybe. I think yeah, the chick who always was asleep. I don't think we saw her fight, maybe. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, did we? Fuck. And, and um, I didn't still forget. And in the anime, at least, she's just still a little bit strapping. She ain't like fight super hard, though, if that's what you mean. Yeah, she's I mean, yeah, to see some all out. So, uh, I mean, we already seen like Rose Chick. Uh, we see the uh, the the big guy who just used like invisible stuff. The naked yeah. bitch was unimpressive. Her magic, the, the the clothes magic, was like super unimpressive. Oh, uh, I felt like I need more from. I don't know. I just need more in terms of the stuff because the the same old moves, especially like I think what makes it more no, disappointing is like they're like the top tier niggas. True. So I'm like, Yami, you top tier. Like, I'm expecting your book to be full of spells. Right. Like, mm-hmm. and then when I saw the Emperor's book, I'm like, bro, this bro, thing is that was lit. Be full of spells, oh, bro. Like, he didn't do much. He did like four bro, spells. Bro, this kid had no covers. Like, it was. Yeah. Bro, I don't know. Lit. I just I hate that because I'm like looking at. I'm thinking about Zatch Bell. I'm like, Zatch Bell. Those niggas had spells. Like, at least when they had spells, like they might have had. They had like. They all probably had less than 10, maybe, throughout the whole series. True. But it's like, when they got a spell, it was like... Lit. They put, like, respect on it. It wasn't like, oh, I just do a sword slice. You know what I mean? It meant something. Like, it was like, oh, what this fucking gravity ball do? Like, oh, that gravity ball fucking (laughs) fucks you up. Like, don't just go around using that. But towards the end of Zatch Bell, though, every nigga probably had at least 10 spells. Because Zatch had 10, and it was like, you knew he was the nigga that was low-key behind. Mm-hmm. A little special oh, one, yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> you knew Bronco had at least about fifteen. Or something <laughs> like that, you know what I mean? So like, I just always thought like, bro, y'all didn't. Yeah. yeah. So like, when I see them with these books, I'm like, it's already taking my mind to Zash Bell. So I'm expecting like a lot more out of spells and a lot more respect. But it feels like you know, Asta and Noel are getting the most respect off these spells. You know what I mean? Mm. Their spells are tend to be the most interesting across the book. Like, Yami got one new spell, and it's cool that he can cut through dimensions, but, like, that's all he does. Mm. It's like, I'm cut through dimensions. You know, speaking of books, I don't know. Mm, I'm further funny. behind than them. Why don't nobody ever, like, say shit about Asta book? Like, you think one person would be like, hey, there's five clovers on this shit, or five leaves on this clover book. Don't nobody say shit. I feel like nobody Damn. close enough I to mean, care. I mean, this is from the get-go. Or he might be on that Naruto shit where he all know something Asta don't. No, I think the only one who knows that though is the uh, Lee, Lee, I can't Magic Emperor. Fuck. 
What? Oh, Lich? No, 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 Lich, considering, like, that's, like, the demon connection. Oh, uh, true. But other than that. Like, I don't know, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to figure out this whole elf shit, too. Like, um, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck, we get too deep. Hands. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm here like, for oh, hands, about bro. Bro. Me, Bring it up. Bro. On the seven deadly sins. Um, yeah, bro. man. The one bro. is out. The one it's is over. out. Oh, spirit on dirt. Hey, yeah, spirit. The one is out, man. He nah, ready to fuck some niggas up, so... I'm I'm ready to see that. Uh, let me think. Man. What else had happened? Oh, Zelda's his power was pretty mad. To me. Yeah, they could have. Uh, they could have made that cool. Like, he's just. It pretty much just said he's fast. Like, I just thought yeah. about Kilo almost. Yeah. If you think about it, it's they're, like it's just like, all reaction. Disney like, got a whole barrier around him, and that's about it. I was just like, oh, right. Done. Next. Yeah, they could have made it more like I don't know, like darkness, some kind of beast in there, and said yeah. fear, so something like that. I don't know, but no, nah, they, no, nah. I think they got lazy. Okay. They were just like, hey, what, what can we? How can we modify Meliodas's like OP move to something for Giselle Doris? Like, yeah. that's literally all they did. Do you think he's gonna win? Uh, uh, no, I, oh, right, he's yeah. got bro. You think so? Like, no, 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 just think. I mean, yeah, all I, think I, I got like, insta lit. No. As soon as, like, uh, oh, right, he was covering Merlin, and then he just stands up and just starts walking. Like, normal pace, just like a yeah. normal walk. It's just like, wait, oh, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah. <laughs> For a hot second, even, I was like, wait, why isn't the vacuum, like, affecting him? And then you yeah. get that zoom in, and it's like, nah, it's over. <laughs> it's like, see. that's over. I want to see if he'll make it or not. Um, okay. Last one. Oh, fuck. One Piece walk. Trying to think. So your boy Luffy in jail. Oh, mm. one P. Oh, locked up. They won't let him out. <laughs> I they feel. won't let him out. You know, I'm, I'm still glad that this is happening to him because oh, he sorry. needs this. He looked like he hot though. Oh he no, without that, he like about mad as hell. What's so I'm so still like, who collected his bounty? Uh huh. No, 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 no. Kaido's, Kaido's covering up. Well, I mean, well, one. He I mean, about to get him to join his shit. Well, that's what he's trying. Yeah. But nah, they gonna do some kid help kid break out. You know who so. did the the but. the thing was that kid, the mm-hmm. fishbone shit. Was yeah, that somebody that was else kid. or that was kid? No, it was kid. Oh, it was kid. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How could he do that with bones though? That shit ain't he metal. He just spit that out. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm like that shit not metal. <laughs> they were like, yeah, take all the bones out the fish. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, like, low key, there was like a couple of reveals that actually did help out the chapter though. Oh, like, one looks like a. Uh, Shu Tamaru is one of the three samurai that Kingdom Hearts was looking for. Oh, he is? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Shura Doji was one of the three names that he listed out earlier. Shura so, Doji? Like, no, Ashura oh. Doji. Like, that is Shu Tamaru's like, samurai name. Oh. So, uh, he's one of the three, and I feel like Kingdom Hearts going to hook up with him to try and find the other two. That's deep. So, when they go up against him, Ooh, they'll Okay, out. so they, we might have a real powerhouse out there, man. Yeah, I mean, Shu Tamaru did work, yeah. man. But they might great. be able to break Luffy out of jail. Right. And then also a good reveal, a nice, well, interesting reveal, more than anything, is that mm-hmm. Hawkins um, let us know that Wayne uh, Wano was the uh, creators of the Sea Stones. Yeah, so that that actually, yeah, thanks for reminding me about that. Because, yeah, that brought up to me that um, there's some dealings going on. Whether it's Kaido, there's like either an alliance between Kaido and the New World uh, because the Marines and stuff have access to all the sea stone stuff. True. So I think that Wano might be having some dealings with them as far with as getting it across. Yep. And Kaido is hiding that from the people because he said, oh, don't use pirate or anything. We're not supposed to have any contact with the outside world. So I think Kaido might be the only person with that contact. And he's the one that's like, okay. hey, broker in these deals because he's a Yonko. True. Um, I'm trying to understand if they brought up any real resources. Because, I mean, Big Mom's connection is to the criminal underworld, it looks like. Mm. But maybe Kaido's connection is with the Marines or something. Well, but, like, Kaido has both, considering, like, the Devil Fruit mass production. Though. Yeah, but I feel like that didn't really go through the underworld as much as it went through Don Flamingo, who happens to have a connection to the Marines. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, maybe his shit is, is all of them. But I, I'm, I'm still trying to get their business aspect. You know what I mean? Where are the funds coming from? Because mm. he pretty much owns Wano, right? True. But uh, those funds are coming from somewhere. Big Mom's is like, she has those candy factories, but those are for her and her people. You know what I mean? True. That's not producing any money. I think her connection well, I mean, with the underworld might be mm. what's producing her. I mean, to make the point. exact connection, you might not need it simply because of how expansive Big Mom's crew is. Yeah. I mean, considering all her kids pretty much spreads to every oh, kind yeah, of race. She has, she like, has a strategic marriage. Right. I think that might be her business so, model. But, like, um, Kaido's, I, I haven't really pegged it yet. 
because they are all like hiding Wano from the world. But I'm like, okay, if they're the producer of Sea Stone, like that's coming out somewhere. So either Kaido's the one that's facilitating that, or there's somebody on their world like that's smuggling it out. Right? Mm-hmm. There's some smuggling operation going on to get Sea Stone to the other motherfuckers because the Marines definitely have a good enough amount of it. You know what I mean? Like for how did what's his face get that that Sea Stone weapon he had smoking? Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? Like how are we building these materials? Somebody's getting that shit out. True. So my th- my guess is that Kaido just has an alliance with these motherfuckers because. If he let his whole country know, maybe, like, there would be, like, more, like, I don't know, options for riots. Or that might have even been the issue that caused them to um, take power away from Odin. You know what I mean? Like, maybe oh. that was what started it. It's like, they, oh, they have these resources, uh, the sea stone okay. resources. And he was okay. probably like, nah, we just gonna keep that with us. True. And then Kaido's fan was like, nah, we gonna sell that shit. No, and then he was like, all right, we gonna kill you, motherfucker. <laughs> like, no, sure. Fuck. So... So yeah, that's about it there for me. Right. I thought that part was the most interesting. We'll see what happens with the kid and uh, Luffy Alliance because I mean they're both stupid. So right, I and guess. I think uh, Kaido actually put some respect on kid's name because I think uh, they revealed that King. Uh, fuck, kid like, has conquerors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so all. Kid I was has like, conquerors. That was a little surprise. And so did older. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and um, and then Luffy. okay, now another thing that I kind of but I, I'm not sure if it was a bit oh, wait, oh I, I just thought it was funny because I felt like Kyra was saying like damn we just giving out conquerors to anybody now dude. like that's what we need another one we just don't even need damn, another so one. we got these many conquerors <laughs> now okay well, let's see how this is gonna play out <laughs> but yeah uh-huh. uh, but for what you would call it I thought it was a little fishy. It, I could just be paranoid but I think Law got away from Hawkins too easily because if you think about it did he get it, away though? That, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, okay, so from what we see, like, Law was about to rescue Luffy, right? And then he gets hit with the nail, the sea stone yeah, nail so by Hawkins. Use his power. And Hawkins was about to, you know, like, pretty much fight Law because, like, Law was trying to get away slash get Luffy. Yeah. But the next scene we see is Law already away, chilling, like, under a tree or whatever, just mm-hmm. like, man, it's going to get tough now. But And then, like, Hawkins was like, uh, and like they were like Hawkins was talking to his crew like oh man Law got away but I'm about to hunt him down so I yeah. mean what happened in that fight like was it really that easy for Law to get away I mean I could see it don't get me wrong but I feel like they still could have showed that with just like two or three panels nah. but they did it so yeah. it might go back to the theory that Hawkins is gonna betray Kaido yeah. and like help out the squad I can buy that so yeah I, I can know. buy that if that was a uh, set up by um, that was his face let him go right. I definitely could see that so I feel like that's kind of in the motion too, low key. Granted, yeah. I could just be theorizing. No, yeah. I think that that's actually valid because I think Basil might be he's he's predicting the future here. So it's like he's probably seeing like, all right, me letting these niggas go is like some maybe sort of opportunity mm-hmm. for me to um, get back at Kaido or whatever. Because I think he probably went with Kaido maybe if he's not an idiot or some strategic type shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, and also for anyone who was like, oh man, Luffy's like so much better and could probably beat Kaido alone. Think about what Kaido said after he started to walk away. I am sober now. After this is done, I need to start drinking again. Yeah. Luffy knocked him sober. He did not knock him out. He didn't do damage. He wasn't even a threat. Kaido was drunk, got sober from Luffy's hits, put him to sleep, and is about to start drinking again. Um, I just want to put that up. Though. My only issue is that they try to put some respect on a bad name, which I fucking hate. I hate that he keeps doing this. Like, uh, they said, um, let me find it. Uh, but basically, like, uh, they're trying to hint that his bat was special. Like, some of his people oh, said the that. Club? Yeah, somebody, yeah, somebody There's was like, like oh, hit by he, Kylo's club. yeah, they hit him with the club, and then they put, like, some emphasis on, like, club, and I'm just like, oh, so this shit is, like, some special shit, too? It's, like, what bothered me about um, the Big Mom thing. I forgot where it's at, but it's somewhere in here where they, like, put some respect on it. But it was, like, with the Big Mom thing, when they hit her, and they are like, oh, her body's iron. I'm like, like, let's just oh, make them raw naturally so we can go... Like, damn, this is what that tier is. But mm. then when you hit him with a special bat, now I gotta go, what's fucking special about this bat? Right. Like, is Kaido actually that strong? Like, I'm asking all these other questions, you know what I, I mean? Hear. So, uh, that shit kind of pissed me off, but that mm. was it. True. So, I also think it's kind of weird for him to have a club. I don't know why, but I just never, like, at least from, like, my anime and manga experience, it's rare when you find, like, a character mm-hmm. that has a weapon as a club and they're actually important. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. So maybe it's just weird for me to see Kaido even having a club in the first place. If it was something else, even he was like a hammer. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, that's actually pretty tight. But for it to be a club, it's like it just seems odd. Yeah, but, but that's older though, because older loves to make like the weirdest motherfuckers be raw as hell, not be like mm-hmm. that. Also, once again, sticking to the same older tradition, giving broken ass powers to females that he know are not going to do anything with them. The ability to rot things and oh. age them. Like, I mean, Ky- like, Crocodile basically was able to, like, finesse his, his, uh, sand oh, so yeah. into doing something like that. Right. But we saw how broken that was. True. And I'm just like, all right, bro. We know she's not going to do anything special <laughs> with this, but you know this shit raw as hell. Yeah. It's the same thing with the, um, the girl on Don Flamingo place that could, like, she did something with paintings. Basically, like, she could draw anything she thought into existence. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, and I was just like, bro, yeah. it's probably raw as hell, but you're giving it to a joke character, so she's even to do a bunch of stupid joke shit with it. Like, and then what happened come today? Back up again. Yeah, yeah, where they were like, oh, yeah, we're sinking, so blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, right. Granted, his okay. only defense is that I, I was actually a little unsure if that was really a devil fruit yeah. or it was truly like a ninja ability. I was a little because like, she actually said jutsu, mm-hmm. but granted, like, you know, there's been characters where they didn't know it was a devil fruit. Yeah, they so they have a different So, right, so I mean, I could yeah. see that, don't get me wrong, but I could also see how it really just isn't a devil fruit. fruit. It's just yeah. like something she could do. Yeah, I was a bit confused so, about that, but yeah, I decided to go under the assumption that it might be a devil fruit just because they used though. the same. Um, the same like nomenclature with the blah blah blah. Right, the, the right, the, the mushy, mushy, like the, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I hear you. So, uh, but, but yeah, that's it. We can move on to uh, uh, MVP. Is oh, you it? want to talk about Promise Neverland? Or? Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about Promise Neverland. Um, These dumb effing kids. Oh, Honestly, God. this chapter pissed me off a lot. <laughs> oh, like, I was, I was so. Yo, niggas oh stupid, my man. God, it's like, ah, fuck. Niggas like stupid. why? Why? Like, I know there's kids. This guy don't I know who's got coddled. I'm like, bro, oh y'all haven't. God. It's been Emma, Ray. Like, this is why I'm, I feel sorry for Ray. Let me put it that way. Because <laughs> this is what Ray has been spinning from day one. When you go with a big group of motherfuckers, True. people going to be unrealistic and do stupid shit. True. And like, and it's just like, this is why we don't. This is why I just wanted to save you because I knew you're going to be that stupid. But it's like, you and them are dead. Mm hmm. They did. The shit blew up. Yep. You know what I mean? But I guess maybe they might be alive because somehow Andrew's dumbass. Granted, is alive. true. <laughs> but like, but either way, right? Emma was like, "All right, I think these things dead, right?" And then Ray was like, uh, "These things dead." But like, nobody wanted to say it. And then fucking Jillian dumbass is like, "Well, maybe they're not dead. Maybe they're not dead. We should go back there and search for these motherfuckers." Yeah. I'm like. Are you stupid? Like, you guys realize that, like, every time you guys go out, Mm -hmm. you open yourself up to the risk of either A, a demon eating the shit out of you. True. Two, somebody who's hunting you, finding you. True. Or three, like, I don't know, you just fucking die because none of you guys have left the the thing. The only few people that have left the thing are, like, Emma. Right. Emma, Ray, and then the niggas from the other, from Goldie Pond. Right, from Goldie, yeah. Cause they had to survive. So, but these dumbass kids. Oh, we need to go. We need to go find out if they still alive. What was, if they still alive? So All right, sick. y'all could go die over there. That was so. That's sick. what I would have done if I was Ray. Don't need, Ray should be the leader. Cause if I was Ray, I would have been like, look, motherfucker. No. Y'all no. could go die. Yeah. We gonna be. We not gonna be here when you come back. True. Bet. <laughs> Walk in this bitch. We not gonna be here. And now Andrew is gonna kill him. Like, if they beat him, I mean, fine. All more power to them. If these little kids imagine to get enough. No, to it's to like, that's like... How do you know these little kids' names? Right. I mean, even, F, even Emma don't know all these kids' names. <laughs> Prove that. But no, when I, when I started thinking about it a little more, I got a little more pissed because when I started thinking that for this to happen, everything is happening decently fast right now. Yeah. Like, there's been, like, non-stop-ish as soon as the time gap from Goldie Pond's been happening. True. And most of the time in a manga or anime, I can respect that. Mm-hmm. But I feel like they're pushing it way too fast now. Yeah. Simply because it depends on how they play Andrew. If they play Andrew where Andrew's just, like, being reckless and emotional, jumps in, kills off a few, but they still getting them, uh-huh. that'd actually be okay. But if Andrew was smart, He's pretty effed up right now. He yeah. knows where they hiding. He needs to call for backup. Right. right, period. So if they if he plays it like that, it might work better where they could like get a plan, actually start initiating stuff, and then it kind of it, it'd be a replay then. But it's mm-hmm. like you know they start to storm out the hideout again, and it kind of starts up. Yeah. Or if it's be if it could be more interesting, Andrew can set it up where 
okay, they already told me that I know that they're aiming for the seven walls. Mm-hmm. Like, they know I'll about just meet it. I know where they... Exactly. I'm meeting with a squad, we'll do, like, a showdown, and that could be lit. Yeah. But him finding out where they are pretty much automatically means it's just still going to be going down in, like, the next two chapters. It's going to just be hot. Yeah. And it's going to force them to head straight to the seven walls, and unless they bring up more questions, which is probably now when mm-hmm. I can see it, but... It's also hinting that, like, they could be ending off, well, I'm not going to say the entire series, but at least, like, the season pretty soon, based on this, like, track of how fast they're moving. Gotcha. So, it's like, are, they, are y'all being lazy? Is something going on? Yeah. Like, I still feel like this know. writer doesn't know what the fuck he wants to do. Right. <laughs> he keeps making up um, when, or when and when he doesn't want to kill motherfuckers. True. And that's the part that be bothering me. I'm like, look, bro, if it's going to be survival, let these niggas survive. If it's gonna be like happy go lucky and with a demon backdrop, then let it be that. But don't be like killing niggas off and then peeling back and saying, "Oh, guess what? Niggas can still survive <laughs> explosions." Because if I go in there, if they go in that motherfucker and you go and Lucas are still alive, oh no, nah. I'm gonna be like, bro, you just wasted nah. my time. This is like when Naruto brought whole... guy back to life. I'm like, yo, niggas being stupid. Like, why did we? Why did we build up all of this? Like. Emotion, no. yeah. You and go, then Lucas, go oh, oh hey, no, y'all still alive, right? What? So, I mean, what? that was literally a whole manga chapter pretty much describing how you go and Lucas are dead, yeah. Honestly, so, if they bring him back, like they bring them back, I'd be yeah. done. Granted, I am a little I don't know curious. what he wants us or what he wants us to feel for these kids. If he wants us to be in a manga where we're watching these kids grow up and face real shit like death, then maybe it's cool for them to go over there and find out that these niggas are dead. What are they gonna do next, right? But like, right, but that, I, I, it I just mean, that seems was, so like weird. Right, like, that's not like, how they intro us so with camp. the kids. I right. feel like they think it's summer camp besides Ray. Ray's the only nigga that's here thinking, like, no. We will die at any second. Yeah, like, we, <laughs> we literally are running for our lives. But I feel like all these kids are like, oh, we got medicine and, and food. Like, there, no struggle has happened yet. True. They got too and cultured I'm, in the yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like he wants us to turn into the Walking Dead, but I don't know when it, the flip, mm-hmm. the switch is gonna flip. You know what I mean? True. Where it's gonna be like, oh yeah, we don't got food. Like we we had to eat one of the kids. Like one of the kids had real. to get eat. Right. You know what I mean? Like that type of shit. Like then I'd be like, all right, this is where I was looking for it to go. Right. But he, he playing wrong. Either but, way, um, like I, I wasn't I was upset this year. If y'all disappointed with Problem Serverland like I am, go read Jagan. Go read Happiness. My God, that manga is fucked up. If you want to see some fucked up shit, go read Happiness. That shit fucked up. <laughs> um, and Trailer Blood. Trailer Blood is getting Trailer fucked Blood. up too. That's like a light fucked upness. But Happiness, bro, it's about this this vamp. It's about vampires, right? But like motherfuckers dying there. Basically, there's one guy who found out. Um, he basically he found out vampires existed and wanted to be a vampire. So he ended up starting this cult hmm. of like, hey, we're going to try to be a vampire. So he found out one of the kids that ended up turning to a vampire, captured that kid, and then like the kid finally woke up. He was basically trying to get the kid to bite him. Mm-hmm. The kid was like, no, nah, I'm not going to bite you. So he ate the kid. They cut that motherfucker up and ate him. Yeah. And he fed it to all of these people in the cult. The whole cult is like, yeah, we vampires now. So they start fucking stabbing each other, like killing I'm talking about like... I like because I'm doing like the chapter reactions for it. Like half of the chapter, I can't. Po- like I'm just like I can't pose this. Like it's too grabby. Like, I'm talking about like, and then there's this one girl who's normal but was like in love or like chasing one of the vampires, kind of. So like, there's a time skip that happens, and this is when the cult shit starts. But she finds out where like the cult is, so she goes there. That nigga captures her. He like cut her nipples off. Like, he, like, like tortured her and shit. Like, it wasn't even on no free shit. Like, all he did was, like, oh, I cut your nipples off, and then, like, I taped them back up. Like, it wasn't a weird sex shit. Just on, like, some, like, whoa, this is really a fucked up call. And then, like, they were about to have a ceremony to kill her ass, like, and, and eat her and shit. But luckily, like, the, the main character dude finally shows up after his fucked up situation. Because his fucked up, have you watched Aijin? Yeah. But his fucked mm-hmm. up situation is like the main character from IGN where he get captured by the government and experimented on. Mm-hmm. So he gets experimented on for like 10 years. He, and then he pop out. He finally gets a chance to escape that bitch. And he finds out where she is and luckily like kind of saves her. But that's where he makes the decision. The, that's like the most current chapter. He like bites the cult leader and now he's a vampire. But that shit was like the fucked wow. upness of like when she entered the cult. Because I'm thinking like all oh, their friend win because he had this, the vampire guy was still alive at the time. Mm. So they're about to eat him. 
and the vampire guy breaks out. He wakes up. He starts like fighting the motherfuckers in the cult. So I'm like, oh cool, the Shonen shit is about to happen. Like they about to get saved. No, they body that vampire. They <laughs> kill that motherfucker. <laughs> eat this nigga. Like I was like, yo, that's fucking crazy. Wow. And then he was about to kill her. Mm. I don't know, but up. yeah, it's Damn. fucked up. So if Promise Neverland is not giving you what you need in terms of like, yo, this is some sad shit. Go watch Happiness. Or go watch um, 70s, 80s, 90s on uh, Netflix. It's like these t- time series about like different stuff that happened. Mm. But basically, they, each one of those have an episode on like serial killers or murders that happened in each of those decades. That shit fucked up. There's like a lot of like fucked up cults in the, I think, 70s or 90s. But yeah, 70s, bunch of fucked up cults, bunch of fucked up shit that happened. You should go if you like history. Go watch them. If <laughs> you like history, because that shit was like I don't know, man. I'm, it, I've been in some fucked up shit the past couple of weeks. Damn, <laughs> I'm gonna get up out of here and go to happiness. So, I think I've needed this to like it's like a rinse off, you know, because I just finished watching like New York for like a few weeks uh-huh. ago, but it's like or a month ago probably at this time. But you know, like after you like really invest yourself into a show, you like kind of want to like just take a breather and you try to find out like a different genre to go into. Okay. Felt like it just got to fuck up, but now I'm about <laughs> to get sick of the fucked up shit and then feel like I'm going back, back, back like, to bro. anime again. Yeah, but oh, I was God, like, yeah. that you like, because you know, like when you really binge a show, like your world changes. Like when that show ends, you like almost feel like you, you live in that life world. A yeah. yeah, like yeah, like when I caught up with Game of Thrones, it's like now I'm like paying way much, like way too much attention to like details. I think everything's like old England and shit, right? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, I experienced that shit, but yeah, you need a like um, no, a palate cleanser, and sometimes the palate cleanser is like real happy shit, right. and sometimes it's just like whoa, life's fucked up, and then you go, all right, cool, I can go back to this like right. this happy shit. No, I feel. Um, but yeah, Death Note will probably be next. I feel like that's what it's building to. It's like oh, all this fucked up shit is like putting my mind in a place to start Death Note again from the beginning, and get all the way through, just to have my whole mind like, yo, what the fuck. But yeah, sorry. Sorry for that tangent. MVP of the week. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm going to give it to, uh, what's his face? Uh, Os- Osaki from Happiness? Because you know me. <laughs> he stepped up. Uh, hmm. I got to give my MVP of the week to Goblin Slayer. Damn, I didn't watch episode. Oh, kind of I didn't see the, 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 the no, episode. he didn't. This episode was not actually at all. What? It's just like yeah, just make up no shit? action. Not even that. Just niggas be irregular. It's 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 not a lit episode. <laughs> it's a beach episode. Yeah, it's just a they chilling. But the thing is though, and the reason I put respect on Goblin Slayer is because like everybody like oh shit bro this nigga bang this work woo 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 oh he did that hey bro where the goblins at. Oh, y'all not talking about God? I'm out. Keep <laughs> <laughs> going. Hey, I'm out. Nothing. Niggas boy, hey, bro, you just fought this hunger. You need to rest. No, I slept enough. I'm good. Where the goblins? <laughs> she, she, she don't Where care God about was? nothing but goblins, bro. Motherfuckers be in mid-sense and seem like, oh, that's not about goblins? It be leaving. Like, <laughs> oh, he, he that? Oh, he goblins. Oh, that's funny because, oh. like, in that world, he's probably, like, a super expert. And that means, like, if it's, like, any other RPG, there's all types of monsters. Mm-hmm. So there's, like, dragons. There he is. Like, oh yeah, we're hey bro, you trying to fight this dragon? It's pretty cool. It's like, nah. <laughs> my <laughs> only expertise is goblins, bro. All my like, you know those people in the MMOs that have like specialty equipment mm-hmm. or whatever. He's just all like goblin type of like, it really armor or whatever. Like, like, like oh, this gonna be plus thirty damage. So <laughs> oh, oh my god, god. Oh, my god. <laughs> niggas was like, hey bro, hey, how do you beat this thing? He was like, I don't know, kill it. <laughs> you, like you, like you know what? What do you say? Like we just got we got a whole strategic Hell plan. Shit. First, we gonna smoke them out these holes. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was like, and he's he's like, like how do you beat giant rats? He was like, bro, I kill a goblin. It's like that, that's all I do. He's like, oh, beat that motherfucker with a stick. <laughs> you know, I fuck with that nigga. Oh, I'm, like, bro, bro. Cool. I'm glad. I and, everything too. is like fully oh, goblin oh, related. My motherfucker was like, what do you do when you lose your weapon? Oh, you take one from a goblin. <laughs> he was like, nothing he said, bro. I just fuck with him because he got that one track line. 
gobblers are shut the fuck up talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't do more than that. That scene where you kept that nigga, you say you still not as bad as <laughs> And this nigga was raw. I was like, yeah. we all saw that episode. Nah, I saw that, Have y'all seen Throwing the... fireballs at motherfuckers, bro. Smacking yeah. this nigga, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Have y'all seen the uh, English dub yet? No, uh, well, his voice. Is. His voice is like I can't watch. This is the first time where I'm like, nah, I can't watch the dub. Because like oh. in the dub, he got a voice that sound like he care about shit. Oh, like like, like he got some secret care in nah. the world. And the sub, that nigga like, he gives no nothing but the goblins. Damn. Hey, bro. Nah, he's, he's not sentimental. They did the Bakugo go fuck up with him on. The yeah, dub. they gave him some voice. Yeah, this man, sense. nigga, sound like he care a little bit, bro. <laughs> Like he might actually like it, the thing. Every episode, I'm like, "What is he gonna fight some other guy?" Uh, no, no. no. Goblins. <laughs> oh, this shit. I don't care, bro. Is there goblins there? Just stop talking to me, bro. Like, he, he didn't even know what the ogre was. Like, yeah, he was like, "What's that?" Like, that is true. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, ogre goblin? slayer. I thought she was saying uh, goblin slayer wrong the whole time. She was like, "Yeah, I'm looking for the ogre killer." I was like, "You mean goblin?" Is that just yeah, she was goblin. Wrong. Oh, she was. But she yeah. was looking for ogres, though, because that nigga was an ogre at the end. No, no, no. She no, wasn't no. saying ogre. Or, 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 yeah, or, 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 or something. Yeah, or, or. <laughs> and she was, yeah, or, and she was like, oh, yeah, that's just elvish for goblins. Like, right. <laughs> it's, oh, it's crazy oh, how oh, much, oh. like, respect yet disrespect this nigga got in the world. Like, True. niggas know he raw, but they also, like, but you only fight goblins. <laughs> But he just like don't give a fuck though. He really don't. I'm out here for these goblins. <laughs> I ain't out here for friends. Yeah, cool. Like he's, he's barely out, out for the money. Bro. Like actually though, <laughs> that nigga like his hoes out there, only bro. Goblins. He don't want no hoes. That nigga want goblins. <laughs> his this is a story of Batman. If goblins killed his family, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Batman. True. No, it's gonna be raw though, because all all you gotta do now is put your strongest characters in goblin costumes, and it's over for them, bro. <laughs> Goku in a goblin costume. Oh, yeah. he, he can't be Goku on a red for sure. Put that nigga Goku go in a goblin. Oh no! You come back in the room and you're gonna be doing this night Goku. Goblin Goku. It's like the uh, what's the thing in comics? The scrolls. Mm-hmm. So oh. they got like sc- the scroll versions yeah. of uh, like all the things. The scroll, the goblin, uh, goblin Goku. version of Goku. Hey, it's <laughs> <my scroll>. <laughs> One punch man. You can come back. He, he dead. Yeah. Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, here killing goblins. <laughs> He was killing oh, their kids fuck. and everything, bro. This nigga had oh, no sense. He ain't getting no fuck. Little baby goblins ain't getting drunk. <laughs> Naruto goblin, it's over for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's over for you. Goblin Slayer, he coming for you. <laughs> it's over with. I just, I really hope they never get to a point where he actually chooses to fight another creature. Like if he yeah. fights another creature, I always want to. You got to change the whole name of the show. That over, like. Cause this is just so funny. Niggas be talking about all this shit. They don't care, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the goblin. Niggas be talking about who was that game yesterday? Was goblins playing? <laughs> oh, no, I ain't watching, bro. I see it. They're playing games. Who's going to be beat? Oh, fuck, true. Uh, we're going to give it to. Oh, my man. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Boss. Yeah. He's just a monster. I have like, a little shine on him. Oh, just, but no, I will say I lost his type for him once I finally saw his face again. I'm telling you, something about that teeth that do it for me, bro. He just seems colder with like the full mask on okay. his like mouth. But once I saw part of his, mouth, I was like, oh, I see why you got kicked in the face. <sighs> he can't help how he was born. Uh, I don't not. do that to. I wonder if he actually he softened his bucks. lips. Wow. And that's what happened. Wow. <laughs> mm, you on the chair? The bitches just was like. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, but he cold, man. He cold. He cold um, as fuck. I guess, like, yeah, that one weakness of, like, if you knock me out, my power turns off, is whatever. It's not even, like, a mate. I wouldn't even say it's, like, a big it's handicap, not. you know? I mean, I think it's, it's like, like, almost everyone, I feel like, has that, oh, you knock me out, well, my shit don't work. Like, what deck we gonna do if you knock his ass out? Nah. You still gonna flip you, nigga? Like, you did. I think my man's legitimately like an all around good hero. And like when he becomes of age, he's gonna be like a heavy hitter. Yeah. Straight up. We should do a dream team thing. Or we take a few like one yeah, A and one B combo. Like, yeah. Or we'll be like our our Justice League from the from the class. 
Oh, that'll like, be our next be our, discussion. Our, yeah, our, our match or class A and B. Yeah. yeah. We just, yeah, just got to say our members. Some, yeah. But, yeah. Okay. And then, what's, what's the, is there a team for, like, B, what's the, what's the B mm-hmm. class representation? Well, like, young There's, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, but, like, what's the, I'm sure there's a group of heroes that's B class, but I can't think of it. Heroes as B class. Like a like a superhero team, but it's like basically the rejects. Vigilantes? Like, um, what do you mean? Yeah, but it's not. It wouldn't be. A, it would still be off of like these heroes, but they would be like the ones with the weak ass, uncommon. The X Men? Fuck you, talking about? No, like, there's the Avengers. And the well, X Men, X Men are up there, but the way we see Daredevil, Luke Cage, and Jessica Jones, like oh, the Defenders type of people, oh, I guess. Yeah. Right?